Australian Open time. Let's go. I know you're excited. I can see that look in your eye. Do you think Djokovic is always getting easy draws or do you think Djokovic is simply so good that whatever you play him against is going to be an easy draw? And then just, uh, ooh, just a pass. Tom, <laughs> not so fast. <laughs> Slow down. This is the best wang. Oh, is it? You're determined to always put Eubanks out. You did it at Wimbledon. You, oh, you just don't like it. What's, oh, it's the big one. Here we go. So I'm going. Emma Raducanu. Oh, that was happened to my bracket. I've got Popper in here. I must have oh, kicked the right name. Djokovic is out. <laughs> big headline. Djokovic. God, I just... So I think Djokovic will get revenge this time. Djokovic, I feel, is going to win the Australian Open this year. He never forgets Novak Djokovic. And he always wants revenge for that last defeat. That one in Wimbledon is still stinking. I've got Novak Djokovic. I've got Yelena Rabakina. Iga gets five. Novak gets 25. Joe Prince Sava, those are my two. Novak has had a hot start to the year and she's going to take the title. How about that? And then on the men's side, a rematch of the Wimbledon final. And I think the result's going to be the same. Carlitos Alcaraz. Elena Verbakina winning on the women's side. I think we're going to get Novak Djokovic winning on the men's side. Number 11. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Match Time here. We've got one-time U.S. Open champion Emma Raducanu, just 21 years old, facing off against Yafan Wang, one-time Acapulco champion. Um, and uh, she had quite a little run in the last 10 months. She was outside the the she was outside of 500 uh, just about 10 months ago, less than a year ago. And then she went on a crazy tear on the ITF tour last year, winning or making the finals of eight tournaments, uh, qualifying for a tournament, the 125K, winning it as a qualifier, which got her into the U.S. Open. She made it to the second round. Uh, speaking of second rounds, both of these women, uh, bad luck in the second round lately. Emma Raducanu, since... Uh, going to the Wimbledon, I believe it was fourth round, and then following that up with the U.S. Open crown, she uh, has not made it past the second round in any major. She's 0-4, and, and uh, Wong is 0-5 uh, in her career in second rounds at major. So something's got to give. Uh, these players are warming up right now. Um, I'll come uh, say hi to everyone real quick, and then we'll get some predictions going. What do we got? Alexander, welcome. Ale oh, wait, that was from two hours ago, it looks like. Um, is that? No, wait, hold on. What's going on? So many different weird times. Oh, anyways, we got Mark Lester saying, come on, guys. What about our poor, neglected British number one, Katie Bolt Bolter? I think, he yeah. Bolter. Okay, you, you correct it later. Uh, she's playing Zhang, a top player. Uh, is it that she's not big enough to draw for your audience? Um, that you'd have to ask. Uh, I mean, it definitely isn't one of the bigger matches. It is. It was a good match. I was watching it um, while I was waiting for this one. Um, however, it also depends on my commentators. I already called a match earlier, um, and I've had some stuff to do, so... Now it's 11.52 at night, though, for me. So it's almost Thursday for me here in Vancouver, BC. By the way, my name is Covey, in case I didn't say that. Um, this is the GTL Game to Love Tennis Podcast. If you haven't done so, like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, hit the notification bell. We're going to go live every single day until trophies are lifted in a couple of weekends from now. Uh, of course, <laughs> I mean, Katie Bolter, though. Cater, Katie Boulder rocks. Hmm. Join the Patreon for exclusive content. Yes, yes, y'all right there. Uh, check it out. There is the link. Make it super easy for you. We got the dog father saying, Raducanu. Um, now, are they, hold on. Are they starting the match? Yes, they're starting the match, which means we get some predictions. I'll get, you'll get mine. I'll get yours right after this. <laughs> All right, folks, match starting right now. Very first serve from Emma Raducanu. Serve is good. Return is good up the middle. Backhand Raducanu cross court. 
Wang with a backhand lob and a swinging volley out of the air from Raducanu goes long. So first point goes to the woman from Ch the woman from China. Uh, so we actually just on this court before we had Katie Bolter versus Zheng Xinwen, and uh, Zheng Xinwen won that one six three six three. So it was a it was a Brit versus a Chinese, and we have a Chinese here versus a Brit, and the winner is going to face. Um, uh, Zhang Xinwen. So it could be an all Chinese matchup or it could be a another British versus Chinese. Um, okay. Also wanted to mention that I am going with Emma Raducanu, folks. That's my prediction. Two sets. She played so well the last match. I called that one as well. She looked comfortable and she looked as good as I've seen her since the U.S. Open. Um, I thought she looked really good, very calm. Uh, not like, yeah, never panicking and just under control. She, she won 30 out of 33 first serve points in that match. So she was in control. Didn't even come close to, to facing a break point. Um, okay, here we go. We're into point number three as Radu kind of took the second one. And now she takes the third one as the second shot from Wong goes into the net. And she's really talking to herself quite a bit and hopping around is Wang. So Wang Yifan. Yifan. All right. So do, do, do. what else we got? Joker, best player of all time. A lot of people will agree with you. Most, in fact, very nervous. Nuggle could lose third set. Okay, Snail, they're not showing the, the, the darn match. They didn't show it. They didn't show Um, it wasn't an option. Yesterday, court six was an option. That was the one he was playing, or two days ago. And then today, it was court 13. It didn't show us an option. So I haven't been able. I've just been watching highlights after. Uh, Covey, there's so much happening right now. This match is almost like a drop in the ocean. It is a drop in the ocean. And I will be getting to the action as well. Um, hee hee, uh, he he, or hi hi, Radu Kanu. So we got lots of people just yelling Radu Kanu. And uh, I think that's cool. That's the thing that, that we should make a thing. All right, Radu Kanu with a nice serve out wide after dropping the first point four in a row. Continues the trend of not even close to having to face a break point, but it is very, very early, folks. Good hold for Emma. Should we hit the Emma button? I thought it was an impressive last four points there. Let's go for it. Radu Kanu, fairy tale run. U.S. Open, we all know the story. Ten straight matches, including qualifiers. Every single match in straight sets. Ten matches, 20 sets. And uh, before that, makes a run to... Now, I I said the fourth round at Wimbledon, but you know what? Let me... Let me uh... Just double check that. Yes, fourth round at Wimbledon. So she goes four rounds at Wimbledon. Has sort of, a, I don't want to say like a panic attack, but maybe a panic attack. Um, in the sense that the moment got too big and her heart rate, I guess, um, kind of got alarming for her. And, uh, oh, Emma Raducanu with a beautiful forehand from the middle of the court. Uh, pick in the corner. And it's a beautiful stroke. She can really, like, she just looks, when she's on, she's so effortless. And wow, yeah, great depth. Very windy conditions. The last match, it ended in just, it was unbelievable. There was a, a game at the end of the last match that was about 18 minutes long. Uh, Zhang Xinwen, she ended up winning it in the end, but she saved six break points, and had six match points in the same game. It was unbelievable. The wind was going crazy. She's doing second serve like aces uh, because her second serve was kind of iffy. I mean, it was pretty nuts, but the wind was a massive factor. So let's see if that plays a factor here. But nice slice from Emma Raducanu, forehand from uh, Wang. 
Lob Raducanu, forehand from Lafang neutralizing. Now forehand Raducanu into the net. So Wang up 40 15. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did I did I say, uh, yeah, uh, my Raducanu in straight sets is also, I don't know if I said that or not, but thought I should share that. Sorry, folks, I'm trying to increase the brightness on screen here perfect okay so now what the heck's going on okay good good 40 15 yang wang yafan second serve is good backhand return up the middle now, forehand inside out, winner from the middle of the court, one game apiece. Pretty tidy for both players so far. Um, I had not watched Shang up to now. He played some incredible points while serving for the third set. Uh, Sumit's serve is uh, less threatening. I think if you is a little more less threatening, I'd say I'd say just take the little and more out of that sentence and boom. Uh, Nuggled out two sets to one. Ah, no. Raducanu is crowd favorite most times. Yeah, they were they were saying that a lot of Chinese fans, yes, or in her last match, were cheering for her. And so now I wonder who the Chinese fans are cheering for because Emma Raducanu's, um, so her story is she was born in Toronto and when she was uh, two, she moved to and was raised in London. Her mother is from, born in China and her father's from Romania. And uh, there you go. 15 love. Rama Redekanu takes the first point in game number three. First serve is good. All right. What are we at for likes? Let's see if we can. Uh, we got 11, but hold on. I, I, every time I got to hit this refresh and boom shakalaka 15. All right. Thank you guys for the support. Um, and hey, folks, if you're if uh, if I haven't heard from you before, don't uh, don't be shy. Say hi. My name is Covey. I'm in Vancouver, Canada. I'm a big fan of Carlos Alcaraz. I'm a big fan of Sabalenka, Rabakina on the women's side, Leila Annie Fernandez, Bianca being Canadian, of course, um, but also liking their games and their styles. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know where you're from. It's always cool to meet new people. For sure. Are you? Have you watched any of uh, the the Indian Sumit Nuggle? He's playing right now against a Chinese player. Um, anyways, I was talking about Emma Raducanu. So yeah. Oh no, I, I mentioned yeah. So that, that, that's her story. She's got Canadian and British passport and their citizenship. So, um, so yeah. I wonder if Chinese fans will cheer cheer for her, or will they cheer for Yafan Wang? Thirty all here on the Radu Kanu serve. Yeah, they're showing someone eating some. Uh, Fries or something. Well, the... Just chilling, holding it in their mouth for a little bit. An ace out wide from Radu Kanu. Radu Kanu rocking the exact same outfit as she did in the first round, which uh, we would expect. White Nike visor. She's got the long, uh, one single long ponytail. Um, she's got a yellow uh, with bright yellow collar. Uh, main part is kind of just uh, regular yellow, and then she's got a skirt as well. Um, oh, yeah. Nice little point here. We got uh, drop shot from Raducanu. Yang with the uh, up the line. Emma Raducanu tries to put uh, that back into play, but goes into the net as uh, Yang was on was at the net there. So putting the pressure on Raducanu. Um, Deuce here. First serve is good. Forehand return up the middle. Nice and deep. Forehand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. Nice angle. Backhand Wong. Back up the middle. Now Raducanu again going back to that same corner. Defensive shot from... 
Oh, from Wang. And Emma Raducanu with the swinging volley once again misses. But the two, two she's missed two swinging volleys when she had a chance to put away. This one she missed quite uh, quite badly. She missed it uh, about two or three feet outside the, the tram lines. So the, the doubles alley. And it is now the first break point she will face in this tournament for the first time. There we go. We were talking, I was just talking about that last game. But did I jinx her? Maybe I did. I'm not trying to, but it happens. All right, here she is. Radu Kanu approaching. Ooh, she had a short ball and she tried to do a drop shot, but she pushes it pushes it just a little bit wide. And Yafan Wong is in the lead. First break of the match goes to the Chinese player. Every minute girl go man. She know we're doing nothing. No matter what you bring. Shots go bang, bang, bang. The shots go bang, bang, bang. It's Yang. Wafang. Wafan. Sorry, I should say Wafan. Um, okay. Yeah. Final question on who wants to be a millionaire. I'm a Canadian-born tennis player who is half Romanian, half Chinese, but I represent Great Britain. Who am I? There you go. Uh, another British tennis player has uh, a pretty interesting story. Um, I believe Cam Nori. He's British, but I believe he's he spent time or lived uh, in New Zealand, went, played college tennis in the United States. Um, yeah, so he's kind of like he's got some roots in Britain. He's got some roots uh, in New Zealand and he's got some that he made in college uh, in Texas, I believe. So. Um, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of cool, cool stories. Uh, another cool little story, Alex Dimonor, like, I guess, I don't know if his mother is Spanish or if he lived somewhere or goes to Spain a lot, but he like speaks like total fluent Spanish. Um, Wong with the serve plus one corner to corner, beautiful serve out wide plus one forehand up the line on the other side. Emma Raducanu ran her darndest, swung for it, but still was un unable to make contact with the ball. Wong, first serve into the net. Okay, we got a forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, and that one goes a little wide, 15 all. Wind is breathing. <clears throat> so Wong's also wearing a white visor. She's wearing a white a tank top, uh, a, a light purple, almost a pastel purple. I guess not almost. I'd say a pastel purple skirt, uh, white wristbands on either side, and she's got rocking white shoes, white socks, and she just rocked an ace up the tee as well. Um, she's wearing some nice earrings, some pretty big, are they diamond? I don't know, but they look nice. Uh, Wong, 30-15 here with a, after that ace. So a really good start for Wong so far. She's, um, carrying the play, I would say, in a relatively short amount of time. Reddit kind of steps in here for the second serve quite a bit. I'd say almost a meter, uh, backhand return cross court. Now a forehand from Young. It's a high looper. Emma kind of, she backs up. She's about six meters behind the baseline when she hits that one. Now we're back to the baseline. Both players forehand Wong, forehand Radicanu, forehand Wong to the backhand side of Radicanu up the middle. Back uh, inside out. Fong, uh, Yafang <laughs> Wong with the winner. So here's the thing. I always have this thing with, uh, with Chinese players, by the way, 40-15. So cruising is a Wong. So with Chinese players, like, for example, like uh, they they say their last names first and their first names last or how, you know, compared to how we do it. Right. So not not that one way is right or wrong. That's their way. Right. So 
Zheng Xin Wen, um, like when we see it, we think of it as Xin Wen or Kin Wen Zheng, because that's her last name. But in China, they'd say Zheng Xin Wen. So I always kind of feel like uh, when I'm calling a Chinese player, um, sometimes I call their first name, sometimes I call their last name in the middle of the point. Um, and so it's it, I need to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> but anyways, Wong. That's what I'm going to try and go by. Oh, by the way, Wong is not wearing white shoes. They just showed a close-up. They're actually uh, light green shoes, a nice light green too. So she's got the, the white on top, the pastel in the middle, and then the light green. I like it. It's a very nice combo. Uh, Emma is also rocking pink and yellow shoes, matching the outfit. And the plus one from Raducanu goes long. And right now, Raducanu is looking like she is not definitely not out of sorts, but she's not in it yet. She's uh, maybe the wind also is having an effect because the the wind is blowing their hairs and their skirts around like crazy right now. So it definitely is a factor. Kyrgios half Greek, half Malaysian represents Australia. Yeah, but he was born there, so that makes more kind of sense. I believe Cam Nori, wasn't he born in New Zealand? But he represents Britain, and he went to school in the States. But, but it, I mean, that's still a good example for sure, Alex. Like, you know, you got a Greek and a Malaysian who represents Australia. Uh and I believe his mother was royalty in Malaysia. I don't know if she had to renounce it when she got married or or what. Oh, nice serve out wide. And uh, Wong just barely long on the return there. So Radikanu, yeah, about two inches. Radikanu with a 30-15 lead. Is your fun Wong the better Wong? <laughs> uh, I... Well, she's ranked 94 in the world. Uh, I think you're talking about Wang Jinyu, perhaps? You know what? Let's look it up. Because why why not? Um, but you got to say, a very formidable rise from being outside the five top 500 players. She went on a run in the ITF last year. Just boom, eight tournaments where she either went to the finals or beyond, and now she's back in the top 100. Congrats. And it's obviously going to go up after this as well. All right, Raducanu at the net. Very nice hands as she softly puts a volley away, and it is game point for the Brit. She's still down a break, though. Looking to keep pace. Um, let's see. Let's get to... This is what I wanted to get to. The WTA rankings... It goes like this. Wow. This, um, okay, we got a forehand from Wong. Backhand Raducanu into the net. So game point turns into deuce. So this is how it goes. Um, she is the third best Wang when it comes to ranking. So we have Zheng Xinwen is the 14th rank in uh, 14th in the world, number one Chinese. Then we have Wang Jinyu, 37th. Then we have uh we have uh, Zhu Lin or Lin Zhu is 43. We have Wang Jiyu, not Jin Yu, but Jiyu, 62. And then we have Yue Yuan, 63, and then 83. Sorry, I, I, I said 94. Uh, the site says 94 right in front of me. Uh, anyways, Yafan Wang, it says 83. And we'll go up to 69. Um, anyways, so yeah, she's actually the third highest ranked Wang from, uh, from China. So not first or second. The late night edition, you betcha. And for yourself as well, brother, 315. You are dedicated, man. Uh, it's been a very good to see you, TCK. Uh, Snayhill, it's been a very competitive match. Nuggle has been a little passive uh, than Shang in second, third set, which has cost him. Okay. 
it's an advantage for Emma Raducanu. Second serve coming up. How do you pronounce names beginning with X, such as Jing? I always wondered, is it more uh, that Ching sound? Um, you know what? I don't know what the hard and fast rule is. I just uh, I just note what professional commentators say, and I just uh, do that. So when I see, uh, let's see, for example. Okay, we got a short ball. And oh, what happened there? What the heck just happened? Okay, Emma Raducanu just won that game. But I think the ball went over the net. So Raducanu hit a high ball. Okay, let's see what happens here. The replay is showing. So Emma Raducanu hit a really high backhand, just chopped it, bounced on uh, Wong's side, then back more because of the wind than the actual spin. Now, you know, the rule is if it goes on your side and back over, you can reach over and hit the ball. Well, the ball went too far away. She reached over but was unable to actually reach the ball. If she had gone any further, she would have hit the net. So she lost the point. Uh, and it was purely because of the wind. It was not a shot that had – it wasn't a slice like that. She literally just pushed it, and it has so much wind. It barely goes over the net and comes out. I've never seen that. I've seen it happen several times due to like a crazy amount of spin. Never seen it because of wind, but that was a crazy little point. Shang's forehand is a bomb. Yeah, I was like, this guy's like a lefty Alcaraz with his with his uh, with his forehand. I was really, I was like, oh my goodness, uh, this guy can really like rip the skin off the ball. Um, it's talking about um, Shang. He's a nineteen-year-old. Uh, Chinese player playing against the Indian guy right now. Emma Raducanu currently 294, it says on one of these. So, uh, yeah, you were saying earlier. So I was going to give you an example. So X-I-N-Y-U, I say Jin Yu. So the X is more of like a G, a G sound, a J, G. Um, that's what I've heard other, other commentators call uh, use that name and then the uh, x i uh y u so no n but y u is g u all right oh inside out forehand from wong it's a beauty right now wong is kind of dictating the points a little bit more it's, it's kind of been like that i mentioned that after about three games well we're halfway through game number six sorry well, we're in the middle of the game. Yeah, the sixth game. I should. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, she's dictating the points a little bit better, I'd say. Also, wind has continued to be a little bit of a factor, as mentioned in that last Raducanu game-winning point where she got so much help from the wind. And... Yeah. Emma Raducanu normally when she's on and she was last game and she was playing pretty well at the beginning of this one, she really hits the ball consistently deep. And right now it's not consistently doing that. So she needs to find her range a little. And again, the wind may be a big factor. Good uh, backhand to backhand here up the middle. Backhand, backhand. Now forehand from Raducanu. Forehand Wong up the line. Backhand Raducanu. And that's just off the baseline. A second one from Raducanu off the baseline, but some great defense from Wong. Now forehand Raducanu is just a chop, and it's long. So after some great defense and a couple of incredible forehand shots from Raducanu, um, again, that that Jin, uh, that uh, that Wong picked up and got back defensively um, and then just made Raducanu hit another shot. There you go, 40 love. Wang with an ace, game to love, continues to uh, continues to uh, be one break up. It's four to two now, and um, consoli consolidation right there. Unforced errors right now. Emma Raducanu doubling up. She's got ten to five. 
uh, that Wang has. So, oh, my uh, screen is freezing. Not cool. Not cool. Yeah, I'm my uh, my things, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reload this here for a second because I mean, looks like the scoreboard's already got 15. It's love 15, so and it's a double fault that gives Wang uh, Wong the first point. So Radukanu still looking like the second best player right now and it's a slice from wong radicanu makes her way to the net and oh what a passing shot from wong a forehand up the line it had a lot of shape on it it looped and uh radicanu i think she thought it was going long and she yeah she left it she definitely could have got it. it landed about three inches inside the baseline so everything right now falling in the way of Yafan Wong. Great serve out wide. Wong gets a racket on it, but it goes into the net. So that's a good little sign from Emirati Kanu, but still down a break. 2-4 here, 15-30. So lots of work to do. All right, here we go. Serve just wide and long. Just over 100 miles an hour, 163 kilometers. Here we go. Inside the baseline is Wong for the second serve. And backhand up the middle, backhand Radicanu, forehand Wong, backhand Radicanu, backhand Wong, forehand Radicanu. Tried to do too much, goes a little bit long, and it's double break point now for Wong. And uh, she could really take a stranglehold if she grabs one of these next two points. Dimitrov looking super solid against Kokonakis, plus his potential third-round opponent. Uh, Davidovich Fakina lost today. Yeah, Nino Borges. I saw he was down two sets to love. I didn't know he had lost. I'll give you an update after this game. Raducanu saves one break point with a plus-one backhand. Um, back in the direction that the ball just came from, from the return. All right, Radikanu, 30-40 is good. Now backhand plus one, and it's wide. 5-2 Wong now, and she is uh, going to have a chance to serve it out. She's got two double break lead here. Pretty tidy performance so far. Just five errors. So, yeah. Wong is... Uh, is definitely killing it right now. Killing it. Covey with a glass of soju. My Korean friend introduced me to it. Yeah, all right. Cheers, brother. Woo. Uh, the atmosphere is crazy. And Nuggle match feels like Indian Open, but Chang serving incredibly. 3 3 on serve. Thank you for the updates, buddy. It's really, I'm really annoyed that I can't get. Um, anyways, let's get into what's going on. So. Currently, Navarro is facing Cocharetto. Cocharetto serving for the first set, 5-4, just two points away. She's up 30-15. Uh, we have Svitolina versus Tomova. Uh, uh, Svitolina won the first set, and they're one apiece in the second. Um, what else? What else? Um, coming up this uh, still still today, we're back in a Blinkova. Sinyakova versus Golubic. We've got Gracheva versus Yastremska. We've got Ostapenko, Tom Lianovic, Tausin versus Azarenka. Um, also, um, on the men's side... Oh, wait, hold on. We're back here. I'll get to that in a second. Radikanu goes long on the forehand, and now Wang already, real quick, up 15 to love. 
Nuggle is down two sets to one and down a break in the fourth set against Shang. Uh, we also have uh, Greg Spore is up two sets to one and a break in the, a break up in the fourth one nothing, and now he's about to serve. We got Dimitrov up four to one against uh, Thanasi. We got uh, Ugo Umber taking out the first set from Zhang Zhizhen. And then we got Holger Runa against Kazo on serve. One, two, Runa serving right now. So there you go. And then um, upcoming on the men's, we got Felix against Grenier. We got Mensik versus Herkatch. We got Rusevori Medvedev. And we got Mahak versus Hachanov. Actually, no, sorry, Mahak Hachanov is tomorrow. The last one is Rusevori Medi today. And that one's scheduled to start in an hour and a half, but let's see. All right, Wong, 30-15, two points away from a one-set lead. It's been pretty tidy work from her. As mentioned, only five unforced errors coming into this game. And uh, uh, let's see, what are we, 32 minutes in, so... It's been a quick one. Serve is good. Backhand return. Now backhand Wong. Forehand Radicanu. And some good defense from Wong there. Keeping it in play. Radicanu makes her way to the net. And Wong with the forehand cannot get it over the net. As Radicanu is right there anyways. And it is 30 all. If Radicanu wants to make a move, I'd say do it now, girl. Adil is in the house. Hello, Adil. Good to see you, my friend. I hope you and your family are doing well. Yes, Happy New Year, my friend. Uh, I guess it's, is it too late to say it? Uh, anyways, I'm saying it. And uh, yeah, um, good to see you. I was actually uh, was thinking about you earlier because someone said, hey, have you ever met someone in person from GTL? I said, no, but I said, I feel like the closest person would be Adil. So maybe we'll have a chance at some point, buddy. But uh, great to see you. Um, cheers, Cub. Oh, yeah, we did the cheers. We got Jason in the house. Hello, Jason. Thank you for saying hi. Uh, where are you from, buddy? And hope you're having a good time. Uh, Nuggle heading home looks unfortunate. Uh, hoping he gets a break back. Very tough. Okay, Snail Hill's pretty much saying that. Uh, it's getting close. All right, it's break point. Rowdy kind of with a chance here to make a little bit of a dent. She's down a couple of breaks, but she can get one back. That would be nice for her. Second serve to look at. She's just at the baseline. Steps in. And it's a bad second serve. Missed it by like six feet long. Uh, no joke. It was closer to Radu Kanu's feet than it was to the service line. <laughs> and it is the break. Radu Kanu gets one of them back. Okay, Raducanu serving 3-5. Win not as nasty. It's looking a little bit better. Ace out wide, Raducanu. Very, very nice serve. She's got such great technique. She throws the ball so nice and high. They always say that's a really good thing to do. And, of course, timing has to be really great, which it is. But it allows you to contact the ball at the highest point that you're able to. Um, so, yeah, she's got that uh, very nice pedigree. And after a decent rally, we got uh, the balls going up the mill. Uh, Wong goes long and Raducanu 30 love. So all of a sudden, a little bit of momentum now for Emma. Maybe not. Maybe hasn't fully swung in her direction, but it feels like the tide might be turning. Another great serve out wide, but an even better return. Now, oh, the second shot though from Wong is a backhand that goes. It's a backhand slice that goes uh, a little bit long there. So triple game point. Radu Kanu uh, put the pressure right back onto Wang. Good serve, backhand Wang long. Raducanu with a game to love. All right, tides returning. Raducanu uh, is gonna. 
Well, she's going to have to break. Wong now serving for the set after the changeover. It's a bit surprising, says Alex, that Dimitrov and Kokonakis had never met, even though Kokonakis turned pro 11 years ago. Wow, 11 years ago, huh? How old is he? Huh. Or was he just a young phenom? Excuse me, folks. It is 1230 in the morning a.m. here in Vancouver. Uh, going for Ryder Kanu here. Come on, Emma. Adil, are you watching Nuggle? Yeah, Adil, are you checking out uh, the Indian? First Indian since 1989 to be in a main draw. And uh, he's into the round two. He's playing a Chinese fellow, Shang, right now. Um, come on, Nuggle, uh, right now. Shouting my lungs out. Chal bhai. Here we go. We got... Oh, Wong at the net had an easy chance for kind of an overhead. Puts it right back to Raducanu, but she has another chance with a volley that she does put away. 15 love. Wong. Great form on that last one, too. All right, Wong here, 15 love. Didn't like the toss. There you go. Serve is good. Now you got a forehand Raducanu cross court. Forehand up the middle from Wong. Backhand cross court at Raducanu. And then another shot from Raducanu is a forehand the other direction, but it goes wide. And then she's having some words with her coach after that one. Trying to figure out what to do, maybe. How to fix a couple of issues. Wong now. 30 love. Kokonok is 27 now. And so, yeah, he was six, he was 16 when he went pro. And that's not uh, too, too uncommon. But it uh, you obviously have to be really good, which he is. Uh, and he does seem younger, definitely. But I knew he was he's around that age. I was going to say, I think, 26 to like 28. Actually, even 28 seems old um, for him. Oh, a nice forehand cross court from the middle with some juice from uh, Wong, and she is now sitting on three set points on her racket. I haven't been able to watch any of its matches because the Goras don't show them on their TV net network. You know what? That's exactly what my cousin said because two days ago when he played, I have a subscription, and they give you options for, like, all the different, not all, but almost all, the courts. They had everything but the option that he was on the other day. That was court 13. Today, they had court 13, but they didn't have for uh, court six, which, which is where he's on. So anyway, it's kind of annoying, but all right. Backhand Emma Raducanu, forehand Wong. That's, oh, I thought it was long, but off the baseline. And then a short ball that Wong gets to put away, and she does. And it's, uh, was that a game to love? It was a game to love. And uh, Yafan Wong, folks, is um, just doing it all right now. She's up one set to love. Yeah, uh, let's give it up for the first set's winner. Have you met a girl called Man? She know we're doing a thing. Don't matter what you bring. The shots go bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Shots go bang, bang, bang. All right. So give you a little bit of stuff. Um, let's see. Starting with uh, today, we had uh, Rancha Rus losing to Kalinskaya straight sets. We had Noskova over Kessler in three. Iga with a thriller. I got to call that one over Danielle Collins. 
Uh, that was in three. We had Dodin straights over Trevisan. We had Paolini straight sets over Tatiana Maria. Uh, Burrell straight sets with a big upset over JPEG. Um, and it wasn't even close. It was 6-4, uh, 6-2. Six, six, so JPEG heading home um, kind of early for her. Stevens, Sloan Stevens, took out Kasatkina in three. Zhang Xinwen, of course, two sets to love. And then, um, so that those were the final results. On the men's side, the final results today began with uh, Michelson taking out Lehechka in four. Nori, five-set win after being down two love against Zep Yeri. Zverev, three-set tie-break win over Lucas Klein of Serbia. We had Purcell and Rude also go to a fifth set super tie break, 10 pointer. Rude takes that one. Tommy Paul, four setter over Draper. Ketchmanovic over Struff in five. Uh, Alcaraz, three sets to one over Sonego. Borges, straight sets over Davidovich Fikina. And Shang has officially taken out Nuggle in four. So the Indian is out after one match, but it was a good match here. Sorry, two matches. But the first one was a good one. All right, Raducanu serving first here in this second set. She's already down love 15. Um, here we go. Serve is good. Return is up the middle. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand slice Raducanu. Had a lot of action, but nice shot from Wong, forehand. Now, forehand Raducanu into the net. Love 30. Come on, Emma. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pick it up. Played so well the other day. Keep it rolling. Nuggle out so gutted. Very heartbreaking. Shang has a high ceiling, very aggressive player, but very rare. I feel so down. Almost as if Nole is out. Uh, I didn't get all of that, but that's okay. Um, all right. Emma Raducanu. Love 30, and here is a second serve from her. Is good. Return up the middle. Oh, great shot from Raducanu. Lots of power, but Wang, Wang just keeps returning everything. But, ah, well, it's right when I say that. She hit a backhand uh, that ended up being a desperation lob that went wide. Uh, but Wang has been getting... All of this power, like Raducanu is hitting these beautiful strokes really close to the sidelines and baseline. And Wong's just, you know, chasing them down and just getting a racket on it. And, uh, yeah, she's making Emma work. And uh, she's dictating the play. Here we go. Wong, nice forehand. Forehand Raducanu. Forehand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. And Wong with the forehand. <laughs> Folks, I'm a little bit tired. Um, forehand from Wong goes long, and it is 30 all. Non-alcoholic in the house. All right. Emma better get on the, the saddle or something here, because whatever is happening ain't working. 30 all. First serve is good. Forehand return Wong. Forehand Redekanu. Forehand Wong. Off the baseline. No, it wasn't. Sorry. It's hard to hear. You know, I just turned the volume up. I just don't want it, the sound to bleed into the mic. Um, hopefully that's not happening. But it is Radu County with the game point. I thought uh, the long shot actually might have clipped the line, but it didn't. All right, Emma. Good, good start here for the second set. First serve. Good. Wong with the return. To the backhand. Now the forehand Wong. Backhand Raducanu into the net. Deuce. Just no rhythm. No, uh, no, nothing consecutively happening right now for Emma Raducanu. Alex saying bad luck, Snehill, but still it's a long time for India to wait for an Indian at the main draw. Definitely. Hopefully it happens quicker than uh, what 89 to now is. Uh, 10, 20, 33, 35 years. What the heck, man? That's ridiculous. Um, okay, here we go. Backhand from Raducanu. Wong's at the net, and she gets a diving forehand. Well, not diving, but a stab volley to her right and pushes it cross court. And uh, has 
She was down 40-30 on the Radu Kanu serve, and now she has the advantage and just keeps on rolling. So just how she ended the just how she did all of last year, just cruising to the finals of all these different tournaments, eight different tournaments. So impressive. Second serve here is good. Backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, forehand Wong, backhand, uh, forehand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, forehand Wong all up the middle here. And Raducanu forehand into the net. And uh, starting off the second set, just uh, on fire here. So uh, just as she did, uh, ended the last set there, just went on a little tip. All right, so uh, Emma Raducanu, after taking uh, half a year off to, to take care of some injury issues, um, bone spurs and, and wrist issues, uh, has only played, what, the four, is this her fourth match? Right now, she is not looking. She's looking out of form. Last match, I don't know if she had the adrenaline because it was first round matchup or what, but she just had a little, a lot more going for her. She had more pep in her step. She had more juice on all of her shots right now it's uh wong is she's she's gutting this one out she's you know I, i'm not saying she's grinding it out i mean in, in a sense she is defensively she's making some great gets and then emma raducanu is just uh she's missed two or three no she's missed at least two if not three swinging uh volleys um that were put away you know like very close to the net um Anyways, Wong now up 15 love. Keeps on cruising. Nothing is phasing her. It doesn't seem like second serve is good. Backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu. Great angle winner from Emma Raducanu. That is the type of shot she was hitting consistently the other night. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. Did, uh, did you guys, did anyone catch the, uh, Ega match, um, with or without the stream that I was on? I mean, it was electric. The last 25, 30 minutes of that match was crazy. It felt the whole match. It felt like Collins was going to win. And at the very end, Raducanu, uh, Raducanu, Iga Shiontek pulls it out of a hat, folks. It was nuts. It was nuts. All right, 15 all, Wang, second serve. Good. Nope, it's not. It's a let. I lied, folks. I'm a liar. Actually, after this match, I'm going to go and lie on my bed and go to sleep. All right, serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand Yang, forehand Radu Kanu, nice and deep. Short one from Yang, forehand from Radu Kanu, now goes long. Yeah. Missing her shots right now is Raducanu. No other way to say it. And again, first uh, few matches back after quite a long time. You know what? To tell you exactly uh, what it's been like for her. She So she played in April last before um, not playing until New Year's Day. So pretty much seven plus months. Uh, she played in Auckland. She won her first round match, lost in the second round to Svitolina, and then uh, played Shelby Rogers in the first round. So this is only her fourth match in the last seven, eight months. So understandable that she can be rusty, can be not really on. Um, but, and perhaps it was just the adrenaline, but she looked great the other day. I was very, very impressed. Okay. Anyways, uh, Wong 
We should talk about her as well. Uh, she is winning. She's up 6-4, one love, and she has double game point, 40-15. So um, she is on the verge of winning eight of the first 12 games in this match. Toss is up. Serve is... Nope, it's a let. Wang, her shots go bang, bang, bang. My favorite button. A guy from New Zealand. There you go. Loving the button. Loving the Wang. The Wong. So on the yeah, on the on the site it says Yafan Wong is how she pronounces it. I think I think a lot of people do say Wang, but it, it should be Wong. And there it is. It is a consolidated break for Wong. And she is up to love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, one way traffic right now. Radu Kanu needs to find something to shake up this traffic. Got a nice backhand there on her plus one. Now we got a forehand from Wong. Forehand Radikanu, forehand Wong, forehand Radikanu, forehand Wong, all up the middle. Forehand Radikanu, forehand Wong to the backhand Radikanu into the net. And that uh, last shot by Wong um, that gave Emma trouble landed, I believe, right on the baseline. So very deep shots here. And uh, Radikanu is on a little bit of a lull right now. <laughs> Pretty much feel like I've been saying that for the whole match, unfortunately. All right, Raducanu with a nice backhand off the baseline. One-handed attempt from Wong, and that goes into the net. 15 all. Let's see. Nuggle himself made it to the main draw thrice. First round, U.S. Open 2019. Second round. U.S. Uh, 2020, first round Australian Open 2022, 33 years since beating a seed. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I thought I thought someone was saying that on um, the other day, that it's the first. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Did not know that. Um, Mo, thank you for the history, buddy. They meant since uh, 1989, no one beat a seed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes more sense. Good effort by Nuggle in a Cricket Obsessed Nation. Uh, cricket Obsessed Nation, but I learned that their national sport is, in fact, field hockey. Yeah, yeah. Field hockey used to be, and it still is very big there. I feel like it was bigger, though, back uh, back in the day. Rowdy Kanu, plus one into the net. Just lackluster, folks. And uh, it is now a double break point. And uh, Wong is about to go up a double break here, folks. Three love in the second set. She's already up a set six to four. But forehand goes along, so not over just yet. Hopping around is Wong. Great positive body. Uh, language. There we go. Radu Kanu serve. Ooh, it's an ace up the tee. Nicely done. And she erases two break points. So maybe I spoke too soon when I said she's on the verge. Well, I guess technically she was on the verge. Here we go. Serve is just long. Second serve on the way. Here we go. Serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Backhand Radu Kanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand drop shot from Radu Kanu. Wong gets there, but puts it into the net. And then kind of hits the racket strings off the top of her head and... A joking frustration. Snehill, I saw a bit of the match. He is a solid baseliner. Yeah. Mm. 
for serve long from Emma. It is her advantage, so she saved a break point. Second serve is good. Forehand Wong, forehand Radu Kanu, cross court Wong, forehand again, cross court Radu Kanu. Now backhand, uh, slice from Wong, backhand Radu Kanu up the middle, backhand cross court Wong. Ooh, another deep one, but that's hit back by Radu Kanu. Some great defense and a forehand cross court winner from Radu Kanu. Uh, after Wong goes up the line with some pace, but Radu Kanu meets that ball and crushes it cross court diagonally. Fist pump and very nice way to end that game after looking like she was about to go down love three here in this second set. Could have been curtains at that point, but um, still down a break, but at least it's not two. Optimistic that his best surface is clay, so he can do even better at the French Open, hopefully. Um, let's go, Emma. Come on. Nuggle has incredible movement, but can sometimes be passive, which cost him sometimes today a bit like Dimonor. Dimonor has been playing great so far this year. Um, but yeah, I hear you. Quite funny. India's national sport is hockey, but cricket is a religion there. People just pray the sport. That's why IPL makes a lot of money. You know what else is uh, in Canada? You'd think that hockey, ice hockey, is our is our um, is our national sport, and technically it is. I believe it's our national like winter sport, but our national sport is lacrosse. So funny enough, uh, India is what it's most known for is cricket, and their their official sport is field hockey. Ours is lacrosse, but we're uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're the kings of hockey, y'all. All right. Ice hockey, that is. Backhand Emma Raducanu. Backhand Wong up the line. Oh, what a shot. She's got so much power uh, in that little little package of hers. She's only, what, like five foot six or something? Raducanu is about five nine. Uh, Raducanu goes net cord, which did give... Wong an extra second, and she used it wisely. All right, here we go. Wong up 15, love. Good first serve right to the body. Raducanu gets out of the way. Wong with the howitzer of a backhand on her second shot. Now Raducanu makes her way to the net. Wong tries to lob her, but it's just a little bit long. Raducanu races back to it, but it is uh, no need. No need to hit it. And it is 15 all. Come on, Emma, you can do this turn around the match. Most people do love IPL. I'm done with it after realizing it's just money business. I mean, it all, isn't it all in the end? All right, we got, oh, Wang with a uh, beautiful return from Raducanu all the way cross court as far as you can go. And then Wang actually almost put the ball up the line and... Missed it just by a few inches, but boy, that would have been a lovely, lovely response to an amazing return from Radu Kanu. But in the end, doesn't matter. Here we go. 15-30. First serve wide. I've actually played tennis with some Indians in Australia, and most of them hit the ball with a cricket technique. Interesting. Huh. Another ball toss. Caught. Oh, it's because it's so windy, actually. She's trying to toss it, is Wong. But the, yeah, she's tossed it again twice now, but the wind is just moving the ball all over the place. Here you go. It's a double fault. Uh, I think she didn't want to let it drop for a third time. Uh, two break points now, 1540. So maybe uh, the weather gods are coming to the avail of Emma Raducanu a little bit and helping out in little moments like that where the wind was gusting to the point where Wong uh, tossed it three times before actually making contact and going into a double fault into the net with that contact. Okay, another serve is out. So, second serve, good. Backhand. Oh, Raducanu had the backhand up the line. She tried to go winner, but could not get over the high part of the tape. 
And so, uh, one break point saved for Wong, another one on the way. It's crazy to think I've hardly ever had a chance to play tennis ever, but I still connect with the sport so much. You know, it's very interesting. I think out of most, a lot of people that I know um, who are into tennis, like they, not all of them play. Um, it's very interesting, but I feel like other sports you play, you play or you played growing up. Um, two break points saved. And as, Rad, as Radu Kanu makes her way to, to her towel to wipe the handle, wipe her face a little bit. But still, uh, Wong is the one in control here. First serve is good. Backhand up the middle. Now Wong with the forehand. Backhand Raducanu. Drop shot from uh, Wong. Raducanu gets her, pushes it up the court. Wong uh, with a lob, and it lands in. Forehand Raducanu to neutralize. Now Wong up the line. Backhand cross court Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. It's just a chip. Backhand Raducanu. Some good defense from Wong. Drop shot from Raducanu. Wong. Oh, she got that tip of her racket on it but was unable to make proper contact. And it sets up a third break point in this game for Emma Raducanu. The wind also played a little bit of havoc. Did not help the cause of Wong. Smart moment, though, for Emma Raducanu to drop because uh, her opponent was pretty far back behind the baseline at the moment or at the time she did it. Here we go. Wong serving down break point. Return is good. Forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong all up the middle. Backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, forehand Raducanu. For oh, and it's long, just a little bit long. And back to Deuce. Good chance. Come on, Emma, says HP. And we've got uh, Chocolate Sauce. Welcome, Chocolate Sauce. My name is Covey. Nice to have you in the chat. Uh, wow, frustrating. It's tiring being her fan. I'm I'm thinking uh, you're talking about Emma, not uh, your fan. Although that would be cool if you were a fan of your fan. Uh, Runa on serve. No break, says Menor. Thank you for the update. All right, folks, if you haven't done so, like this video. We're at 52 viewers. And we're trying to get to 100 likes. And so far, we are at 28. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. 28 likes. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your support, y'all. Got about half of the viewers are liking it. That's a, that's not a bad number at all. Radu Kanu, fourth break point opportunity. Can she break through? Level up the second set. Wong. Serve up the middle. Forehand Raducanu. Now forehand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. It's a lob. Yafan, make, want, Yafan Wong makes her way to the net and hits a swinging volley. Winner. Saving another break point. Deuce number three. Give me up a set and a break. Ooh, okay. Okay. Talk to us. Um, Let's see what else we got going on currently. We got Dimitrov. Yeah, he's up a set and a break to love in the second set. Umber is up a set. They're tied at four in the second. And we got Runa going to a tie break in the first set. And we got Wong with a forehand. Forehand Radu Kanu. Did that go off the baseline? No, it went long. So advantage Wong once again. Excuse moi. All right. Now Wong with the forehand, and you got a response forehand from Radu Kanu, and then Wong's next shot goes forehand cross court, but too far cross the line, wide, and it's deuce.
Nagel is 118 in the world, and I'm confident of him entering the top 100, the French main draw, without having to play polys. That would be dope. Uh, Nagel lost, broken heart. Did you see Pagula get whooped? I saw the score. She lost 2-4 and four or 4-2. Four and two. Um, But yeah, surprising. Surprising. All right. Wong at deuce. Good serve. Nice return. Deep. Lob, lob, uh, sorry, loopy forehand from Wong and R Emma Raducanu with the wind behind her. Long again. So the wind is definitely, she's actually gesturing, kind of uh, moving her arms like the wind, kind of say to her coach, the wind is killing me here. Okay. Another game point, Wong. She's up a break, trying to stay it, trying to keep it that way. Good return. Now backhand slice, Radu Kanu. Forehand, Wong. Backhand slice, Radu Kanu. Forehand, Wong. Backhand, Radu Kanu. Up the middle, forehand, Wong. Backhand slice, Radu Kanu. Forehand, Wong. Into the net. Another deuce. Oh my goodness, I'm having a tough time keeping my eyes open. This is, uh, I didn't think I was this tired. Like 20 minutes ago, I did not feel this tired. Let's go, Cub. Wake up. Deuce number five. <sighs> okay. First serve into the net from Wong. Raducanu again takes her position right inside the baseline for the second serve. Nice forehand ripper, but that's blocked back so many times tonight. Raducanu has had some beautiful, very hard, deep shots that Wong will just just get everything back. But in the end, in this point, it goes to Raducanu and the break point again, number five. Can she do it? it is the fifth time the charm. Do we need some chat moments uh, to keep you awake? What's the chat moment? Uh, Covey, looks like you are doing full-time commentary. I've uh, been doing, I mean, uh, yeah, the last couple of days I've been doing a few. Um, I think because the guys in, in England, you know, right now is, well, they're just waking up. Um, but they're in the middle of the night for... The, the 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 beginning part of the day in Australia is kind of middle of the night for them. So, all right, some defense from Wong, but not enough as the second last ball uh, from Emma Raducanu forces Wong to hit a short ball, which Raducanu puts away. And now her box, her mother, I believe, and one of her friends. Uh, I think maybe, or I don't know, family, um, young woman as well, coach, all cheering her vigorously to all here in the second set. But Radu Kanu is down a set. Okay, three love Kazo. Yeah, start of the day is 1 a.m. for me. Oh, wow. Hmm. How are you doing, by the way, Manor? You feeling better after the car accident? Hopefully you're uh, all good. Raducanu serving to all. Mini break back. Aruna and Darius saying stop praising Knuckle just because he's our countryman. <laughs> Doesn't have the game. Did you see his backhand? He got lucky against Bublik because Bublik's careless attitude. So Daria's like, that's enough. He's done. He's out. Ah, it was fun while it lasted. All right. Wong with a nice forehand. Forehand Raducanu. Forehand. And Wong into the net. So a few errors leaking into the game of Wong now. Not too, too much, but enough. Yeah, she says she's doing this. Like, calm down. Calm down. I'm good. Um... Oh, itch. Yeah, you mean like you wanna like you wanna scratch it, right? So they're itchy. Uh and yellow. Mm. Well, 
At least you're out of the hospital. That's nice. Um, and it looks like you're watching all the tennis right now. Raducanu up 15 love. Trying to wrestle some momentum here. Take it to a third and deciding set, perhaps. Backhand, especially with JPEG gone out of this section, it's a little wide open. You need to take advantage, but unable to the forehand in the, in the wind there. Uh, not helping her once again. But she's got to deal with it. Excuse me. It's the same wind for her opponent. And yes, sometimes it's more advantageous for that it's behind you or in front of you, depending on, you know, what's going on. Or sometimes it's swirling, but you got to deal with it no matter what. It's part of the game. Oh, great return from Wang right off the baseline. But Radu Kanu twinkle toes gets out of the way and puts one back into court, which Wang goes into the net with. So it's 30-15 here. Bubik is the Russian version of Tiafo. I want a couple million, so who cares about titles? I'll just enjoy myself. I don't know. I thought I thought Tiafo. I mean, yeah, Tiafo lost again early, and um, just wondering what's happening to him. I thought he. I mean, I think he's got some pretty good game for sure. But um, yeah, a lot of these guys aren't breaking through yet. Just can't keep waiting and waiting. Backhand slice Radu Kanu, and that goes long after a decent rally from both players. 30 all. Three set points for Kazo. Carnage. <laughs> Backhand Raducanu on the plus one makes her way to the net. Has an overhead, which she carefully, again, because all this wind, carefully guides cross court. Doesn't do a full swing at all. Literally probably hit it about 40, 45%. Uh, was way more thinking uh, placement over power. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was almost like a halfway between a smash and volley. All right. Game point, Raducanu, 40-30. Serve is good. Backhand return. Cross court, backhand Raducanu. And she hit a really good shot, and Wong did get a piece, but she crouched down and blocked it. But it looped and landed about two or three inches past the baseline for a second. Everyone thought it was going to land in, but it didn't. Raducanu takes a 3-2 lead. We're on serve in set number two. Wong up one set to love, however. Come on, Emma. Kazo took the tiebreak 7-4. Jeez, says Menor. All right, folks. Well, let's give uh, Emma Raducanu a button because she has turned it up a little bit here. Hey folks, I'm coming. I just uh, had to get myself a refreshment. I think you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you? Yeah, now you can see me. Ha ha ha. All right. So, Radu Kanu is down a set, up a break. Uh, sorry, not up a break. We're on serve, as I mentioned before. I went to go grab my non alcoholic. Um,. Okay, here we go. We got Wang going backhand. And a little drop from Raducanu. Wang gets there, pushes it up. Raducanu tries to lob her. Wang gets it and just pushes that overhead back. Now, short ball for Raducanu. She steps up. Forehand cross-court winner. And it is love 15. The crowd's getting a little bit of life trying to support Raducanu. And she's also fist-pumping. So the... Body language is going from, hey, the wind, 
and bothering me too. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's good to see. Although the wind is still pretty heavy, her skirt right now as she's waiting to return is uh, completely flailing all over the place. All right, nice block return. And then a backhand slice Wong. Forehand Raducanu. Forehand Wong into the net. Tides returning. Love 30. Okay. Let's see if the tides can continue to turn here. Ooh, a little slowing of the turning of the tides as uh, Wong just ripped an ace up the tee. All right, serve. Uh, this time goes off the tape and bounces out. Second serve. 15-30. All right, good serve up the middle. Now forehand from Radu Kanu, backhand Wong, forehand Radu Kanu, and that's going to go wide. And a little frustration as she smacks her racket. Not too hard, uh, but it's kind of a little, gives it a little tap on the, on the ground there. First serve percentage, 72 for Radu Kanu, 53 for Wong. But first serve points, one. 61% Raducanu, 69 Wong. So Wong is the one who's uh, playing better once the serve goes in. <clears throat> All right, backhand Wong, forehand cross court on, on the run from Raducanu. Wong with a nice deep shot. Great defense there from Raducanu to scoop that back. Backhand cross court Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand slice Wong up the line, forehand up the line, Raducanu. Now backhand Wong. Another one. Now forehand cross court. Radu Kanu off the sideline. And uh, the attempt from Wong goes into the net. Radu Kanu with a break point. 40 30. 20 shot rally. One of the better ones in the match for sure. Okay. All right, boys. Looks like we have a little uh, India is having a little battle here. Um, Daria and Sneha. Don't worry, boys. All good. All good. Just be happy. We had a had an Indian guy. You don't have to cheer for him if you don't want to, and you can be really excited about him if you want to. But don't don't uh, don't need to don't need to bicker between each other. Beautiful shot from Wang there, forehand off the sideline, and she needed that, or else she would have been broken, and the tides really would have turned. Um, but yeah, she really got a hold of that one. All right, Deuce, back to level here. Game six in the second set for serve is good. Forehand up the middle. Now, uh, backhand one off the tape. Backhand slice from Radu Kanu. Forehand Wong. She makes her way to the net. Nice, nice volley. And then the forehand from Radu Kanu off of that goes into the net. So, Wong looking to hold serve, level it up at three. Boom. Okay, here we go. Wong, nice serve out wide. Radu Kanu, good return, but Wong with the forehand again up in the middle. We got forehand Radu Kanu, and that one's long as well. And so Wong holds. So it looks like she was in trouble. So this is how it went. There was a moment earlier where it looked like Wong was going to go up double break point uh, three love to start the, the third set. Radu Kanu turns it around. She almost had a chance to break for 4-2. But Wong with a gutsy little response. And now we're level here. So we're shaping out to be uh, a good one. Uh, both players are playing well. But they haven't been playing well at the same time. So let's hope that that happens next. <laughs> Indians relax. <laughs> let's just enjoy the rest of the tournament. Yeah, guys. No reason to... Uh... Yeah, saying it's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. And obviously, it's a big deal for you more than it is for Daria. Um, 
but uh, but it's okay. You guys, you don't have to agree, right? Just because you're from the same country doesn't mean you have to both cheer the same player. You could like him. You could not like him. You could enjoy him, but not like his style, whatnot. But uh, it's all good. It's all good, boys. Nothing, nothing to uh, get too heated about. Radu Kanu, 15 love. Okay. Second serve from Raducanu is good. And uh, the return from Wong goes long. And so, 30 love. Actually, India overtook China in world's biggest population last year, and it's growing by about 5 million per year. All right, so I'm wearing my, Aus my U.S. Open hat with the Australian Open sign above me. So, go. All right, Raducanu forehand. Now a high looper from Wong pushes Raducanu back. She also loops it, but Wong comes up, chases uh, that kind of meets it at the net and does a swinging volley winner. So very smart play from Wong there. Did uh, I think I did hear that? But in my mind, if someone says, "Oh, what's what country has the most population?" I still kind of say China. But yeah, I guess it has overtaken. Um, all right, here we go. We're out of county 3015. Serve is long. It was right at the body of Wong. Here we go. Second serve. Good. Backhand from Wong. Now forehand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu up the line. Forehand Wong. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, backhand Wong into the net. 40 15 for the Brit. That's crazy. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Three aces each, two double faults for Raducanu, one for Wong. So pretty tidy serving, I'd say, generally. Raducanu, first serve, good. Backhand Wong, nice. Uh, and close to the line there. Raducanu gets that back. And Wong with a nice up-the-line shot. Raducanu tries to lob that back out of desperation, but it goes wide. Still game point, though, for the Canadian-born British-Chinese-Romanian. Or this uh, British... The Canadian-born British... Um, Daughter of Romanian and Chinese. There you go. She's got a little bit of everything. All the flavors. All right. And she also has a 4-3 lead here in the second set as Wong's second shot goes into the net. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cubby. Bye. Looking forward to French Open where Nuggle will prove a lot of people wrong. There you go. You got it, buddy. Take care, man. Uh, we'll talk. Sure, I'll see you real soon. Uh, hope all is well with studies and all that. Uh, get some rest. Uh, is it rest for you? No, it's uh, middle of the day, actually. So afternoon. But yeah, have a good day, brother. Um, Radu Kanu, having a nice drink of something or other. Let's, tell, let's get to the live scoreboard, folks. Goes like this. Dimitrov up a set and a break. Um, it looks like a double break, actually. Um, and uh, so that looks good for him. Umber and Zhang, Zhang Zhijian are tied at one set apiece, just started set number three. We got Runa is down a set and a break against Kazo, so it's love too right now. He's serving. Um, so let's see what happens there. We got Felix Oje Aliasim, one game to love against Grenier. On the women's currently, Navarro Cochoretto, uh, one set apiece on serve in the third set. Raducanu, you know what's going on. Siniakova down a set to Golubic, just ended that. Second set about to start. And Rabakina and Blinkova just started the match. Uh, three games in, and Blinkova is up a break and serving at 2 1. All right, Wong now serving. First serve, good. Forehand Raducanu with a lot of heat. 
Um, and Wong got a racket on it, but it was, uh, sorry, her, her return went into the net. Gosh, Cubby. He's saying I really need to study because I have an exam on the 27th. If I appear here before then, it's not a good sign. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> Take care, man. Hi, hi. All right. That's funny. Um, all right. Love 15. Good return from Radu Kanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Radu Kanu. Winner. Cross court. And it's love 30. So again, knocking on the door of a break here. And looking like a different player all of a sudden. So Runa under a little bit of stress, huh? Ooh, Wong with the first serve after it goes off the tape and landing into the box. Oopsie. Okay. Here we go. Love 30 second serve. Wong. Hoping that this match will end in two sets. Raducanu hoping that it won't. And Wong with a forehand. Forehand Raducanu. Forehand Wong. Forehand Raducanu. Oh! Wong uh, hit a... It wasn't deep enough. So it gave Raducanu a lot of a time to hang, hang, hang. Wait and see where Wong guessed. And then went the other way. And it was a beautiful strike. So... Triple break point. Radu Kanu now will uh, have three chances to break. And then, if that is the case, she will also have a chance to serve out the second set. But not just yet. The plus one from Wang from the middle of the court paints the right sideline, literally, and uh, landed half inside and half on the inside of the right sideline. And she. Saves one out of three break points. Let's see. Here is the next point. Great serve and the return. Ooh, it was a desperation. She got a racket on it. It was almost a lob that landed in, but it was just a few, uh, maybe half a foot long. So the third break point opportunity. Big moment here. This could uh, really put Raducanu on her toes. All right, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, backhand Raducanu, forehand Wong, all like directly up the middle right here. All right, now they're going out a little bit. Forehand cross court, now backhand slice from Raducanu, forehand Wong, up the line, forehand up the middle, Raducanu, Wong, backhand Raducanu, and backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu. Forehand Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong up the line. Forehand cross court Raducanu for the winner. And it's a break. Five to three. And it looks like we may have a third set coming up, folks. But I don't want to speak too soon. I'm a Raducanu with the break. All right, Raducanu, first serve is an ace out wide. Three points away from a level match here in the second round of the U.S. U.S. Open. The Australian Open. The A.U.S. Open. Um, all right. Here we go. Raducanu looks like she might have turned the tides in this match after being thoroughly outplayed for the last for the first set and a half, I would say. Uh, but Wong with a backhand winner up the line as Radu Kanu approaches the net. So Radu Kanu had a short ball that she approached on, but she put it right up the middle. She should have gone a little bit further out. 
towards one of the wings. Um, right in the wheelhouse of Wong, who put it back up the line. Wind still playing a factor here. Radu County didn't like that toss. All right, good toss, good ball. Re serve out wide, return is long and 30-15 now, so two points away. And Wong looking at her bench, talking quite a bit, making some somewhat hilarious um, faces and just slapped her leg with a little bit of uh, aggression, might, one might say. Not a full fist, though, just, just a slap, open hand. All right, here we go. Raducanu, good serve up the tee. Nice return as well. Now forehand Raducanu, nice and deep. Forehand Wong, also deep. Cross-court Raducanu. Now backhand slice. Now forehand Wong, backhand Raducanu. Backhand slice Wong. Backhand slice Raducanu. Backhand slice Wong. Backhand Raducanu. And it is a couple of set points now as Raducanu's ball landed very close to the baseline. And Wong crouched down to hit a backhand, but was unable to lift it over the net. So, 40-15. And a chance at an even slate heading into the third set. Radu Kanu, two chances right here. Good serve out wide. Nice return up the middle. Ooh, Radu Kanu redirects, but unable to redirect it in the court just wide. And one... Uh, set point falls by the wayside. Another one is on the way. And look at this. Ben, folks, son of Robin Records. Yes, Radu Kanu is back in it. Absolutely. Um, there you go. Uh, so Ben's happy, and it looks like the dog father is happy, and it looks like Alex is happy. So lots of Emma fans in the house. And we got a rally going on inside out from Radu Kanu, backhand Wong, backhand Radu Kanu, backhand Wong, backhand Radu Kanu, forehand Wong to the backhand of Radu Kanu, and it goes into the net. Great angle from Wong, and two set points squandered now. And uh, Wong maybe trying to make her move here, a late move at the end of the second set. Let's see. Covey, would you say Canada has a strong culture? I mean, Australia has hardly any. It's all about making money here. Uh, there's definitely some culture in in uh, Canada. There's a there's a pride to be Canadian in, in a sense, but it's not like uh, overtly displayed as much as you'd see it. Like, like, you know, in the States, you, you'll find like houses with flags and they'll be just flag, 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 flag. It's not like that, but it can be during certain times, Olympics and things like that. Uh, Radu Kanu, nice serve. Now Wong with a forehand. Radu Kanu, forehand, forehand Wong. It's a high looper. Now forehand Radu Kanu, also nice and deep. Another looper from Wong. She's playing some moon ball. Now it's a forehand Radu Kanu, forehand, backhand Wong. Drop shot Radu Kanu. Wong gets there and... She hits it. Oh, she hits it off the baseline. She chased the ball down and whipped a forehand. Had to whip it to get it over the net and hope that it dropped in. And it dropped just on time. They're showing it. Got every little bit of her wrist into it. And it drops in. So it's... Man, it was a roller coaster the last few minutes here. It's now break point. So she's looking to get right back on serve after it looked like Radu Kanu when she was up 40-15 uh, was going to take it. All right, return up the middle. Now, uh, backhand cross-court Radu Kanu up the line attempt from Wong, and that goes wide back to Deuce. Come on, Emma, hold it together. Ben, I hope you have liked this video, if, and if you haven't, I mean, come on, bro. But uh, everyone else also, if you haven't hit the like button, feel free to do so. We really appreciate the support. And also subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We go live uh, every single day virtually, most likely. Yeah, pretty much until the entire tournament is over. Uh, here we go. Wong up the up the line. Nice backhand cross-court Radu Kanu and an even nicer from Wong uh, response. Deep shot there. Now, a forehand from Wong, and she crushes it up the line. 
Uh, these women are starting to extend the rallies, and we're having some really, really nice points. And we have another breakpoint opportunity for Yafan Wong. 130 kilometer per hour winner. There is some bombs being hit on these cords. These women are not that big. Pretty diminu diminutive, diminutive uh, in stature. But both of them packing some heat. All right. Nice deep return. Now backhand Rider Kanu, forehand Wong. Forehand Rider Kanu goes long and broken back is Radu Kanu and Wong now will serve at 4-5 to stay in the set but she's done the hard work Yes, yes, folks. I also want to give a couple shout outs. We got on Facebook, we got a we got a love. So not just a like, a love from Mervin Upali. Thank you for that. We also got uh likes on Facebook from June Tupas, from Pesic Yelena, uh, from Amelia Hermas, Clarito Abrea Apal the second, very, very lovely name, and Alexander Laurence AL from LA. So thank you all to our viewers, whether it be Twitch. Uh, YouTube, Facebook. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, and, and hey, if you haven't met me before, my name is Covey and I'm in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And uh, let me know where you're from. Say hi. Let's uh, let's chat. All right. Wong. Yafan Wong. A gutsy, gutsy break after getting down, after getting broken and being on the verge and facing two set points against her. She comes through and now is serving again to stay in this second set and maybe even end the match potentially. But she's going to need uh, a few more points because that first point went to Emma Raducanu, a beautiful backhand cross court. Yeah, really nice. When Emma Raducanu gets outside of the ball she she's she's really got a knack to hit certain angles that are not very easy great serve out wide nice return up the middle along with the forehand now for oh a second one that goes inside out crusher very similar to the one that ended the last game from the middle of the court it's an inside out landing just inside the line speaking of players who can develop um some crazy angles that that one's not as much of a crazy angle but it's enough to uh with with the power that she has to be winners all right radicanu ooh, too much heat on that one went for it and it landed about eight feet long and so it's wang now wong i should say it's it looks like wang but again if you hear her pronounce it it's wong um Almost like wand, you know, not like Wang, like Bang, but like Wong, like wand, but with the G. All right, another serve out wide, and this time the backhand from Radu Kanu goes long. So all of a sudden, this uh, three or four game uh, little heater that Radu Kanu went on seems to have dissipated. Unfortunately, um, here we go, Wong now. First serve into the net. All right. We had a uh, rally going here. Now forehand Wong, forehand Radikanu, forehand Wong, cross court, forehand Radikanu up the line, backhand slice Wong, forehand Radikanu inside in, and too much for Wong to handle. She got a racket on it, but not able to direct it back into play. Come on, Wong, says Avinash. Welcome, Avinash. Thank you for joining us. Um, one hour, 40 minutes into this one. Round of 64 action, a.k.a. second round, Australian Open. Emma Raducanu adjusting her cap. 
ready to return serve here. Looking focused. Wong. Ooh, tries to go ace up the tee, but just missed it by a little bit, maybe a few inches. But still game point for Wong to tie it up at five. Ooh, not this time. It's a double fault. Number three. No, sorry, number two. Uh, Raducan, who's had three. Wait, no. Sorry, is this? Two each, it says now on, on the scoreboard to my... That way. Um, all right, Deuce. It's a big moment here in this match. Good serve out wide. Nice return. Now Wong up the middle. Backhand Raducanu. Forehand Wong. Forehand Raducanu with a great angle. And it's a clean winner. Forehand. Out of nowhere, seemingly. And uh, this is another set point. Third one. She had two uh, on serve in the last game. Well, now she has a chance to force a third and deciding set once again. All right, Emma Radu Kanu now looking to secure a set here. First uh, serve is good. Return up the middle. Wong with a nice, powerful inside out. And she does it again. Radu Kanu returned the first one with a backhand slice, a short ball, but she put it back into the same spot with a little bit more pace and depth. And it's a winner. And she saves a third set point. First on her serve. Really a good fight. Neither of these uh, women are backing down. Wong is dictating play a little bit more uh, overall in the match and at the moment as well, uh, although the momentum has switched a couple times in the second set. All right, second, uh, second uh, backhand from slice from Raducanu. Now forehand slice Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, and paints the line with a winner off the sideline, and it's... Uh, Set point number four. Can she do it? Can she do it? Oh, time to uh, charge the old laptop. Looks like we've gotten to the point once again. All right, fourth set point. Return is nice and deep. Forehand Wong, forehand Radicanu, forehand Wong, forehand Radicanu up the middle. Forehand Wong, forehand Radicanu, forehand Wong, forehand Radicanu. A little more angle now. Forehand Wong. Oh, she missed it wide. And Emma Radicanu takes the second set. We're going to a decider, folks. Uh, there we go. Each player has won a set six to four and uh we are in for a hopefully a doozy now emma raducanu is going to go do an outfit change i'm not going to do an out maybe i will do an outfit change but i'm also going to use the facilities uh so see you guys in just a few minutes stay tuned uh not going anywhere just a little quick little break uh facilities a little maybe throw water on my face because i'm super tired and it's 1 36 a.m but we're in for a little bit of a uh, a banger, I'm going to go ahead and say. All right, folks, stay tuned. Stick around. See you shortly. Peace. There should be no special rules for Novak Djokovic at all. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for something groundbreaking some might call it trial of the century some might call it trial of all time we did not expect to be covering the first Djokovic watch along of the year and he's not playing up an opponent he's playing him against the state shout out to everyone joining us of course we've never had so many people in the live chat I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring all 23,000 of you <laughs> up to date with what's happened so far I did not think by the third set Ben would be rooting for Rafa and JG would be wishing it's all over. 
Yeah, a bit weird. I mean, that's what the pain to end. I don't even care if he's crawling on his knees and hitting the ball over the net by the fifth. If he gets there, it'll be incredible. I'm just calling it as it is. I'm trying to be objective watching the match, and he's lost the match. What do you want me to do? He hasn't lost it. He's still in it. Why do you keep saying he's lost it? You think, okay, put a bet on then. What odds would you get on Rafa? Two sets down. Eight. Stick a bet on. Seeing as he's not out. I'm just disappointed you're not uh, supporting your man. No, you're being delusional, Ben. Just grow not up. Supporting your so man. Not, not, su not supporting your man. Come on, you guys. What are you doing? I feel like I'm rallying for all of the Rafa fans out there now. Crazy. Yeah, because you just need to grow up, mate. Like, be realistic. I've watched tennis many times. I've seen comebacks many times. Okay. You see Medford ever lose from this position? Don't think so. But anything can happen. Yeah! It's so good! He's done it! <laughs> Oh, he's beaten Daniel Medvedev. 7-5 in the fifth set. It's just been an absolute epic occasion. I can't believe he's done it. Rafael Nadal. What? Second time Australian Open champion. Vamos! By Djokovic. Oh. He's down the line! Oh. He's down the line! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Alcaraz has won! Oh, he is in the final! Joe oh, James here! He has done it! <laughs> Vamos! Carlos Alcaraz beats Novak Djokovic in the Madrid semi finals! I've never quite seen anything quite like this! Because this and she doesn't need him! him. She doesn't need him! She falls to the floor! Iga Savantek has won another Grand Slam! Amazing! Look at the emotion Come all on. over her face! Yes, they go. embrace at the net! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Oh, Marincic hits the forehand down the line. Oh my gosh! And we have match point, ladies and gentlemen. John Game Club Podcast. When you say you were confused about your tactics, what do you mean? It's into the net and He's Djokovic. Done it. He's it. done it. He's done it. Novak Djokovic has won Wimbledon. Not lost here since 2017. Oh, <laughs> an ace! It's just ace. Number five of the match, Carlos Alcara has come to in five. My partner has literally just woken up for work and I've not been to bed yet. Yes, he's done it, Carlos Alcara. And look at him on the floor crying. So he's good. He's sobbing, he's thrown the racket. Aww. What a day for Carlos Alcara. He wins the match in four sets. Vamos, Carlitos. Backhands in down the line, cross court from Eager. She's got long! She's got long! Eager wins a third Grand Slam. Djokovic get a good serve in. Hour 32 on the clock. Hey! Djokovic gets sick! Edimo Novak! Necessarily informed of that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I actually have. Um, oops. I have double audio going. I'm hearing myself as an echo. Had to turn one of them off. Uh, okay. Players are almost back. Now, you guys, I actually forgot to give uh, Red Akanu a button. So, real quick, I got to give her the button and go get my hot coffee the water's just finished boiling Thank you for bearing with me, y'all. Players still not back on court just yet. So still waiting a little bit. But I do have some coffee. The old uh, 1.42 a.m. coffee. Who else is doing that? And Radu Kanu has made her way back onto court. Okay, so um, let's see. 
give you a little more. Let's see. Should we talk about what's happened? What's happening live? Dimitrov up two sets now uh, on serve in the third against Kokonakis. We've got Ugo Umber is up two sets to one against uh, Zhang Zhizhen. We've got uh, Holger Runa is serving at 3-5 in the second set to stay in set number two. And he's already down one set to love against Kazo. We've got Felix Oje Aliassim up 5-1. to one. So the last Canadian standing on either the men's or the women's side uh, is looking good so far in the first set. Navarro and Cochareto tied at one set apiece, and uh, Cochareto is serving at 2-4 now. So she uh, definitely needs to hold here. She's still down a break, though. Raducanu Wong, of course, tied at one set apiece. Golubich. Uh, is up one set, but down a break against Sinyakova. And we've got Rabakina down a set against Blinkova. But she's up 40 love in the first game of the second set. There you have it. You are up to date. Um, let me check the comments now. See what's going on over here. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, we going three, Menor, Cubby the Savage King. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Menor. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, look at that. We got a tip from Menor, one of our subscribers and one of our, uh, got to say, one of our Hall of Famers. She is one of the best. Uh, you being delusional, famous last words of JG. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty happy. I'm sure Ben had a big smile on his face when he was uh, making that video. Yes, Emma. Says uh, Alex, Sush uh, Shushi, or Sushi, I should say, Perek, saying they swapped my feed from Emma's game to the Felix game. Uh, that was probably because they went to a uh, bathroom break. So hopefully they'll come back for you, though. Uh, that one set is almost over. This one's just starting. So hopefully it'll, timing will work properly. I cannot watch the match live in Bangladesh. Is there any link? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any link. Uh, and also, I'm in Canada, so um, we have different rules, I think, in all the different countries. So, uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you there, my friend. But I need to choose a song, right? Yes, I was going to say, uh, that was my next point of business. Which song would you like? This is what I have queued up right now. I've got Yafan Wong. I've got Raducanu. I've got Collins. Iga Siontek. i got the new Joker one. We got... Uh, Jabur, Andreeva, Tsitsipas, Anisimova, Echeverry, Sabalenka, Dimitrov, Rabakina, Coco Goff, Alcaraz, Yannick Sina, uh, Ben Shelton, and Alex D. Menor. What is your flavor, Menor? Oh, huh. I just thought of that. Alex D. Menor and Menor. Alex de Menor. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, which song would you like? It's uh, up to you. And then if not, I can even get another one, I'm sure, if you wanted a, a different one. Um, to save my life, that's a good question. If someone kidnapped me and said, pick the women's AO tournament winner, who will you choose to save my life? I mean, okay, to save my life, my instinct is... Iga Coco. Those are the two right now. It just the, the, that just came to my mind. So I'm just going to go with that. Uh, good question. I like that. Let's go, Emma. I wanted Holger Bolger because he's losing, but Dimmy can be a good one to listen. Oh, you want Dimmy? Okay. Let me see if is it queued up. If not, I think I have, I have a way to do it. I think, uh, yeah, Ben sent me. So hold on. I got to open my whatsapp hold on i gotta figure this out but i will get it for you all right we are into a third set raducanu with an overhead right to wong another overhead this time not right to wong and it's a winner um okay let me see here open up uh, do, 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 do. um okay here we go Dimitrov, so let's see. Boom, download Dimitrov. All right, we got a forehand from Aradukanu here. 
Forehand Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, backhand slice Wong, forehand Raducanu, cross court, forehand cross court Wong goes wide. And there you go. Um, okay, I'm going to quickly add video clip. Boom, I've done it. All right, so in a couple seconds or soon, we are going to play your button, Manor. It is loaded up. Um, I love I love the fact that I can do this. All right. So before I needed uh, I needed Ben to send me or to to add it to our program, but he's like, hey, here here's like a here's a drive that contains all of them. So now you don't have to ask me. Because sometimes I wouldn't be able to get someone what they wanted, but now that won't be a problem. Wong with a forehand ripper. So a uh, nice uh, forehand winner there from the right, uh, from, from the right, <laughs> right side, from the forehand side. Um, she goes inside in and she's displaying some impressive power once again for her pretty, pretty, uh, pretty small size. She really packs a punch. It's a very, it's a great te testament to her technique and work ethic. All right. Good serve, Raducanu. Plus one up the is an inside in forehand. Now forehand Wong, backhand uh, Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu. Barely gets it over. Now Wong makes her way to the net. Uh, defensive shot from uh, Raducanu is a lob. Lands right on the sideline, but an easy put away for Wong. And it is 30-all here in the first game of the third set. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, who? What are your picks again? Did you did you tell me what your picks are? Let me know. I'm curious. Men's and women's. Same with you, Manor. What are your What are your picks? Everyone, let me know what your picks are for, to to win the tournament. I wonder if there's any uh, interesting dark horse answers. Um, oh, it's an inside out forehand winner from the mid court. Um, the ball was hanging, so Emma Raducanu had to make a decision where to go, uh, and she made the wrong one. And uh, Wong also put it in the right spot. So it is now break point here for Wong. Serve is good right at the body. She still gets it back though, and then the Oh no, the plus one. She missed it. Emma Raducanu had an easy plus one. She uh, she went too close. She didn't need to uh, paint the lines with it, and she didn't. She went too far. She could have. Uh, she had. She could have just laid that in there. Um, but alas, still early, and uh, we have our first break. It goes to Wong. Wait, there it is. Also, thank you for the generous tip from Manor. Really, really appreciate it. This button is for you. Um, okay. Did you do? No, it's stuck in my hand. So, uh, oopsie. Did you, you said, I said Pagula and Sinner. I'm so confused. You said so many different things. You said, I want Holger Bolger because he's losing, but Dimmy can be a good one. Holger... Kazo beats you in straight sets. Now it's stuck in my head. I said Pagula and Sinner. Anyways, did you want the Dimitrov button? Or did you want another one? Let me know. But you got to be clear. Just just give me one name. Just say, I want this one. Because right now, you, Pagula, Sinner, Runa, Kazo, Dimitrov. It's like, it's, too, it's, it's uh, so many names right now. Um, but, uh, but if you did not want Dimitrov, I'll get you another one. Because... 
because again, thank you for the generous tip. We've got Evgeny Strong. Welcome to the chat. Thank you for saying hello. Nice to have you in here. All right. 15 all long serving. She's up a break. It's been a pretty good one here, folks. Uh, we got a forehand from Wong. Backhand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Nice and deep. Backhand Raducanu. And that's long. 30-15. So Wong looking to consolidate. Oh, I want a dimmy. Okay. You want a dimmy? You got okay. I was so confused. I was like, I was like, okay, what's going on here? Uh come on, Cubby. Go Dimitrov. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wong serve is good. Radikanu, forehand, forehand wong, forehand radikanu, forehand wong, all cross court, forehand radikanu. Wong just desperately puts it up in the air. A swinging volley, and after missing the first two swinging volleys for easy putaways. She doesn't miss a third. Nicely done. 30 all. That, uh, that second last shot. So she was going power, power, power. But she took a little bit of power and got a little more angle. That's what pulled Wong off. And she had to uh, lob it out of desperation. There you go. We got another rally. Forehand to forehand. From Wong up the line, tried to go up the line, but missed it. And that sets up a break point. Who is going to take the reins, folks? And the Holger song stuck in my head. Uh, oh, you asked who is my pick to win, and my picks were Peg and Sinner. Ah, okay. Got you, got you, got you. That makes sense. I was like, okay. Um, let's see. Gene is in the house. Hello, brother. How goes? Runa is down two sets to love. I know, man. What is going on over there? Um, could have the biggest upset of the tournament so far. Um, do do do. All right. Here we go. Wong under some pressure. It's break point. She's break point down. She does a drop shot, and Radu Kanu doesn't even try. And it's smart time to do it because Radikanu was pretty far behind the baseline. I think Emma Radikanu is gassed, folks. Um, not saying that she doesn't have the ability to keep going or anything like that. But this is just her fourth match since April. And um, if you are not playing matches regularly... Um, you can't you can't just come back and you know be ready to play a marathon match. Right now we're already two hours into this one and we're just starting the third set now. Um so let's see uh what factor that'll play. I think it might play a factor potentially. I hope not. Uh, but let's see. All right, so forehand to forehand right now. Great ball striking, both players. Forehand to forehand to forehand. And the forehand from Raducanu goes long. The fist pump from Wong. And now Raducanu, she's keeled over. She's sucking in the air. Uh, Wong definitely the more sharp of the two when it comes to physical fitness. Again, totally understandably. Um, everything for my future husband and co-commentator. You two are too cute, Gene and Menor. Uh, Emma seems uh, getting tired. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yifan Wong uh, is the best Wong, confirmed. <laughs> Emma seems to be out of gas. There you go. Everyone's noticing it. Good serve. So, advantage Wong here. We're into the rally forehand, and she just missed the inside. That's the shot that was giving her some winners. Uh, from the mid court, she goes inside out. Now, Emma Raducanu's kind of grabbing at her uh at her side at, at the just the side of her stomach there and then she's also kind of sucking in there she's talking to her coach and she's i think she's saying like oh i don't have any lungs left any wind left in my lungs first serve out wide but the serve itself is wide second on the way all right Oh, a nice return from Radu Kanu, and the plus one uh, from Wong goes wide as she crouched down to hit it, and that sets up break point. So 
Radu, Emma, Emma Raducanu could definitely use a break right here. Um, she's she's actually uh, four out of thirteen. Uh, Wong is five out of nine on break points, so she's not she's not converting as many, but uh, she is getting a lot, which is a good sign. All right, Wong with a plus one winner and back to deuce here, so saves a break point. Okay, six minutes and 20 seconds now on this second game of the third set. Still nothing has been decided of the game. We got Wong with a nice cross court. Raducanu responds. Now forehand Wong. Ooh, off the baseline, backhand Raducanu. Forehand Wong to the backhand of Raducanu. Backhand slice Wong. Forehand Raducanu, backhand Wong. Forehand Raducanu, cross court, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, and I think she missed it. No, she didn't miss it. Oh, my God, she hit the sideline and then keels over again. And, yeah, she's definitely, she's not distressed or anything. She just is dead tired. She has not played a match like this, uh, of this type of intensity, for a long time. Uh, I don't think anyone in practice sits there and plays three-hour-long matches, um, three setters. So. Yeah, she is feeling it, but she's coming up with shots, folks. She's making some beauties. Tantan, -tan, do you think Raducanu can turn this around, brother? I think if she can weather the storm now, it could give her an adrenaline boost. She can get a second win. So I think it's very possible. Definitely don't think it's over. Ooh, forehand there, a little bit loose. And ooh, she's really sucking in. It almost looked like she kind of like uh, dry heaved there, you know, like kind of. Yeah. All right. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on in the chat. Uh, Isaiah saying Blinkova is giving Rebecca another business. Man, is going to be upset day or what? Blinkova giving touch, uh, tough challenge to Rebecca in a Navarro one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is that her 12th win in a row? Navarro? I'm not sure. Maybe I can look it up. Okay, advantage Wong. Um, yeah, you know, uh, Raducanu, you know, it's kind of, uh, it came out of nowhere. I mean, it's totally understandable. Oh, and Wong does consolidate after Raducanu's forehand attempt goes into the net. I was just about to say, uh, Raducanu, it kind of came out of nowhere. Like, it, she had no signs of fatigue, and then boom. It's like it hit us all of a sudden in the middle of that second game. Um, so, we got this guy for you. <laughs> Okay. Emma Radu. Okay, so it's not a changeover. It's only two two games, but I think they're calling a medic for or a medical timeout. Radu Kanu is on the bench with the towel around her, and she does not look well. I did mention earlier she looked like she was dry heaving, like she looked like she was maybe gonna throw up. And she has a look of maybe that she's sick. Um, let's see if we can hear. I'm going to turn the volume up. I hope the sound doesn't bleed in and annoy you guys. Uh, they sound from like the TV commentators. Um, let me know if it does. Trainer called. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, she's got the towel around her like she looks all of a sudden like she's cold or something um well now now it's funny now they they just showed um yafan wong and she also has a towel around her so maybe just because it's evening time and it's chilly and uh and whatnot but she also looks like something's up 
Yeah, I think they're taking her blood pressure and uh, and heart rate. So they're giving the clip on her finger and they're giving her the 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 blood pressure uh, thing. And this is what we I was talking about earlier when she went to the fourth round in Wimbledon right before she won the U.S. Open. Remember a couple months before uh, she went to that run in Wimbledon and she had to leave, uh, kind of uh, retire from the, this match. Uh, because she was overwhelmed by the moment. And I almost wonder if this is something similar. But I think this is also connected to the fact, of course, that she hasn't played. Uh, this is only her fourth match um, since New Year's. And uh, <clears throat> and before that, her last match was in April. So she's been off for over seven, seven and a half months. And now she's in a uh, two hour and 10 minute, very intense marathon of a match and uh so something is definitely happening hopefully she's well i mean she looks she looks fine she doesn't look uh in any sort of danger now she's pulling out some oh it's one of those uh you know the, the energy packs or whatever that they they rip off the top they eat it kind of like that that yogurt in a tube sort of stuff it's not yogurt but it it reminds me of that stuff anyway she just had some of that but she looks like spent and she is spent, but she also looks like, like she needs to be in bed or something, you know, uh, like, I don't know, her face is flush or I don't know, something. She just, yeah, she looks, yeah. Another Brit going to throw up on the AO court asking Manor because <laughs> they'll making a slam debut about to beat Runa in straight sets. Think Rebecca loses in straight, loses it in straight sets. Um, I'm not watching the match. I would be surprised if she does, but um Okay, she's going to continue. She's grabbed her racket and uh, Roger Ken who is about to serve. So, I think maybe I honestly think that maybe she just was like, "Look, I can't just ask them for a break. Maybe I'll take a medical timeout." And she didn't look she definitely didn't look good, though. She, Like I said, she looked like she was dry heaving and stuff like that. But she's back. She's got the ball in her hand. She tossed the ball. She hit the ball. And the ball went into the net. So we have a second serve coming up. Roger Canu down love two here in the third set. Nice return from Wong. Forehand Roger Canu. Forehand Wong. Forehand Roger Canu. Backhand chip back from Wong. Short ball Roger Canu. Lifts it too high, does not dip back into the court. Love 15. Um, Tan Tan. So, uh, yeah, I was just looking up the score, but I got distracted by this game here. So, we're back in a 3 3, and she's serving. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say she's going to come back and win. Uh, I think uh, Rebecca is going to. If she doesn't win, I, I don't think it's gonna be I don't think she'll lose in straight sets. That's that's my guess. Sick note, Emma again says Mr. or says MR. Um Okay, Radu Kanu. Yeah. She just keeps looking like she's about to throw up. And also her eyes now have a little bit of a dazed look. This is not a good sign, folks. She's down love 30. She's still getting her first serve in. It hits a beautiful swinging volley. But Wong, oh, a nice lob off of that. Now, a uh, moon ball from Raducanu to neutralize. Now we're back to a ground strokes. Backhand Raducanu. Oh, and it's a little chip shot. And it was kind of a half drop, half slice that Wong hit. Ends up being a winner because Raducanu did not go for it. So definitely physical uh fatigue physical ailments are a factor now in this match unfortunate to say that but again it's understandable she hasn't played many matches only her fourth match since april here we go love 40 triple break point for a two break lead and the plus one backhand from red who catches the very outside of the sideline and she saves one break point so Wong, 5 out of 10. So very good percentage on her break points, 50%. Radu Kanu, uh, more hovering in the 33s. I think she's, I think it said uh, four, 5 out of 14. 
or four out of 15 or something. Either way, they're similar. Uh, another serve plus one combination for Raducanu works. Save two break points now. One of them by the thinnest of margins. This one a little more uh, confidently. Okay, Emma Radu Kanu. And it's an ace out wide. So, I mean, I don't know. She looks like she's going to pass out, and then she just gets three points in a row with an ace in there. I don't know what to think anymore, folks. I'm not sure what to think. Here we go. Oopsie. Okay, that was a very weak first serve now. So it's like her adrenaline is spiking. And, and when when it's spiking as she's hitting the ball, she's able to do it. But when it's not, it looks kind of lackluster almost. Backhand uh, plus one. A drop shot um, from Wong. Raducanu gets there, drops it back, and then... Wong lobbed it over her head and missed the lob by inches. So Radu Kanu from Love 40, four straight points, looking to seal this game and stay within touching distance. Don't want to go down a second break. No, you do not. This is a good sign. She's taking her time. So it's, it's not like her, her condition is getting worse by playing more. I think she needs to actually keep playing so she can get out of it and maybe get an energetic uh, second wind. All right. Forehand from Wong. For, backhand Radukanu. Backhand Wong. Forehand Radukanu. Cross court. Forehand Wong. Forehand Radukanu. Forehand Wong. Forehand Radukanu. Up the line, but misses it. Back to Deuce. Brother, you think Rebecca now loses her game? She's always been coming back after being down doubtful. I think she can very I I very much think she can she can win still for sure. So uh that that's my that's my guess. Um but if you're placing bets based on my guesses, just know that uh that's risky business. <laughs> um all right, here we go. Emma Raducanu. At Deuce first serve. Again, a lackluster first serve there. Not sure what's wrong with Emma, says Alex. Hope she can win here. Let's see, buddy. It would be... Uh... I mean, she was in one of my... Okay, so I did two parlays today. I did one at the beginning of the day. I did a 10, 10 parlay. And the very first one was Lehechka, and he lost. And every other one was a winner. So anyways, that one died. And so I was like, okay, I'll just do another one, like eight. Eight one eight, eight people, and I picked Raducanu. I picked Runa. I picked Tommy Paul. I picked Alcaraz. Uh, ooh, Raducanu with the advantage, uh, making her way to a net. Nice volley there. So, backhand from Wong as Raducanu made her way to the net. One volley goes off the sideline. Then Wong tries to go up the line. And Raducanu smartly covers it and pushes her backhand volley cross court into the open space. All right, advantage Raducanu, serve is good. Backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, and it's wide. Again, very, uh, she didn't move, she didn't get to the ball and set her feet correctly due to the fatigue. And so it was all arms and was not able to put that in back back in play. It says pressure points one. Radu Kanu is actually up 31 to 30. It does not feel like that. Here we go. 40 all. Another pressure point right now. Serve is good. Backhand return is also good. Nice and deep. And then the second shot from, from Wong goes wide. Another game point for Radu Kanu. Radu Kanu. Okay, here we go. Another game point. 
And nice backhand up the line. Now forehand from Raducanu up the line is a winner. So she holds, stays within touching here, but still not looking too hot. Gingerly walking back to her bench. She's either out of energy uh, or, or she's sick. Or maybe it's a little combination of the two that, that kind of feed into each other. But uh, she sits down. She's covering herself in towels. And she's covering her head. Huh. All right. Shang looking solid versus Umber. Oh, okay. Coming back. So, Umber. Um, well, Umber is still up 2-1, and they're 4 all there. Dimitrov on serve in the third set after going up two sets to love. Runa uh, won all, and he's up 40 love now on serve in the third set, but he's down two sets to love. Felix one set up on serve in the second, serving at 2-3. We got Sinyakova is uh, is battling Golubic, uh, and they're... In the third and final set on serve, 1-2, Golubic serving. Rabakina for all in the second set, but she's down one set to Blinkova. And we've got Varvara Grecheva is on serve, 1-2 early in the first against Yastremska. All right, we're back. We're into a rally backhand from Raducanu up the line attempt, but it's about a foot wide or maybe more. And it's 15 love for Wong. This year's AO can be unpredictable. Seeds out too early, especially that Sakari match. That was kind of the domino that started it, I feel like. Um, yeah. Okay, we got forehand from Raducanu. Excuse me. All right. My goodness, 215. And Raducanu tries to pass. Oh, my God. I swear Raducanu now just literally, I think she's like considering conceding, honestly. It looked like it. It looked like she was about to just just kind of concede but she turned around and like almost like in real time decided against it or at least that's the sense that i got i don't know for sure but i definitely had that look to it anyways 15 all long Ooh, very close to being an ace out wide but just a little bit too wide okay here we go oh backhand from wong goes into the net so uh, it's now 15.30, uh, Kanu. MR, why do the commentators keep making excuses for Raducanu? Um, I mean, when I say that it's understandable that she is not in top physical form because this is, uh, because she's been out since, uh, since last April and she had two, two, uh, sorry, three surgeries, one on each wrist and one on her ankle for bone spurs. Um, by the way, she's up 40, 15 here. So she's got a couple of break points. So she's still putting up a fight. So that's why I say it, because I know, like, for example, I was a hockey player growing up and, you know, if I had, if I was off for seven months and if I played three games and I, you know, in the fourth game, I felt a little, it would be understandable. So that's what I, uh, I'm saying other commentators, I can't speak for them. Uh, starting to think that Netflix curse is real started with Tiafo LOL. Uh, medical timeout, Runa, right leg. Uh-oh. All right, one break point uh, saved by Wong. Another one, though, she has to deal with before she can breathe a little sigh of relief. Oh, one, uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like she's about to throw up. She's at, she's She's about to receive. She's like, he, she's dry heaving. It's like she's about to receive. And right before, she's like, hold on. She did a little circle, like, and now she's back. I mean, she's battling something. You got to give got to give her some credit. But you also got to give Wong credit, who who's in tip-top shape. Uh, she's 29 years old. She's got eight years on Radu Kanu. But she's also been, of course, playing more regularly. Another 
break point saved as Radu Kanu goes long on her return. So, deuce now. And Wong's starting to get a little bit... Uh, a little, uh, I feel like the momentum might come back to her way here, but let's see. Could be wrong. All right, nice little lob. Raducanu deals with that by just placing it back into a court neutral. Now backhand Raducanu, forehand Wong cross court, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu. Now to the backhand of Wong cross court, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu, backhand slice Wong to the forehand of Raducanu, up the line, off the baseline, blocked back by Wong, and then Raducanu steps up, and short ball, backhand, up the line, winner, and then she goes right to the bench, and she's like leaning into her towel, I don't know if she's like throwing up, I don't know if she would throw up in a towel, that would be weird, or if she's wiping her face, but... She just hit the winner and then directly started making her way. Maybe she just needed to wipe her face. I don't know. But four minutes and 45 seconds into this fourth game, uh, Wong trying to hold and stay a break ahead. But it's game point Radikanu. Oh, the plus one from Wong is a beautiful up the line inside in winner. Back to deuce. Radikanu still struggling. Hands on her hips, sucking in air between points. I think she puked in her towel. I couldn't tell. It kind of looked like it. MR saying, mind you, she earned 10 million last year without playing tennis. Why bother when you have uh, a match? Huh? Well, I mean, she's only 21. And, uh, you know, her passion for tennis hasn't died just because she makes a lot of money, right? So, I mean, it could for some people for sure. But I don't think, I think that she'd go through three surgeries, come back if she wasn't really wanting to. Um, but I mean, even when, even when you're rich, you have, you have to spend, uh, your days doing something right. Um, you know, a lot of people think like, oh, if I was rich, I just wouldn't do anything. No, I mean, rich people are still doing something. You're still getting up and working on their investments or doing their exercises or spirituality and eat healthy and whatever. But it's not just like, oh, get rich and then wake up whenever you want, you know, don't do anything. I don't know if that's how it goes. <laughs> All right, another advantage, Raducanu. Really gutsy here, um, but also really odd, uh, just in general. Ooh, the backhand from Raducanu was a looper that hit the back of the baseline. Now backhand slice from Wong up the line. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, cross court. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu up the line. Backhand chip from Wong, cross court. Backhand cross court, Raducanu, good angle. Another backhand chip up the line. Forehand Raducanu into the net. Very high pressure point, and Wong comes through, brings it back to Deuce. And again, a long point, which is not a good thing for Emma Raducanu. Now she's back to the wall, facing the wall, trying to get her breath. Wong is not pushing it by trying to, you know, get to the line and serve right away. But I wonder um, if she will at some point, if she finds that Emma's trying to steal a couple extra seconds all right wong oh she thought and i thought she had an uh, ace out wide she was about to go to the other side but was told that no it was wide here comes the second serve is good and the return from radikanu is long it's a backhander and it's about two feet long setting up another game point for yafan wong we're back in a win second set boom shakalaka there you go um for his left knee he had the mto it looks like thanks for the update gene appreciate that okay wong again for serve advantage for serve is good right off the very back of the line radikanu with little chip shot backhand slice up the line from wong forehand radikanu forehand wong forehand radikanu into the open court from the middle inside out winner back to deuce And Wong, animatedly speaking to her box. And these women are putting it on the line. I mean, even Wong, she's not having physical difficulties, but she's playing great tennis. She's smacking the ball from everywhere. She's playing great defense. 
and it's a great serve there as well out wide Radu Kanu serve or return goes long so there you go I'm really really impressed with Yafan Wong's play all match it's been very very solid she has not been an easy opponent as evidenced by the fact that she is uh, in a third set and uh, she's up a break and looking to consolidate that break. Sorry, she, no, she did consolidate it already, actually. She won the first two points of the game, of the, the set. Um, okay, ooh. Backhand from... Wong into the high part of the net, back to Deuce. Raducanu taking her time, going to the towel. A little wipe. A wipe of the brow. And back. Now, now Wong is starting to get a little bit annoyed. So she sit, she's she's uh, she's bouncing the ball, waiting, and Raducanu is still walking back to a return position. And that was the first time they showed a close-up that she kind of was annoyed that she had to stop her routine because Radu Kanu was not ready. What? Okay, here we go. Serve is good. Return up the middle. Now forehand Wong, backhand Radu Kanu, backhand Wong, backhand Radu Kanu, backhand Wong. Nice and deep shots. Forehand, ooh, that's a deep one from Radu Kanu. And the next shot from Raducanu is a backhand that goes wide. It's Wong with the advantage. And she would love to wrap up this 10 minute and 15 second game with one swing of the racket here. She's had a few chances, but this has been a long one. All good, good things are worth fighting for, though. Here you go. Serve is good. Return up the middle from the backhand wing of Raducanu. Now backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu, backhand Wong, backhand Raducanu to the forehand of Wong, forehand Raducanu, nice and deep. Forehand, oh, this one, this next forehand from Raducanu, too deep, in fact, about two feet long. And there you go, Wong holds, and she is up three to one. Ten minutes, 44 seconds, she had to serve for in that game but she comes out on top radu kanu no no chance for a change over here so she's gonna try and take a little bit now she can go at a service play pace as long as she's staying within the limits of the clock and so far no one has been even close to any sort of violation of the sort the only frustration we saw was in that one point we saw wong saying hey what's going on i'm ready and you're not it's up to me and, oh, a little chip shot from Radu Kanu. It looks like they both kind of uh, hit uh, shorter and shorter chips until uh, Radu Kanu won that point because it bounced twice. So instead of out hitting each other, they out softed each other. And it's 15 love Radu Kanu. Still putting, she's still putting in the effort. And Wong is still focused laser focused as ever as ever i feel like uh wong has not played badly for more than like two three points in a row the whole match like very consistent level of play great serve out wide nice return short ball and it's an easy plus one inside in forehand winner from mid court this feels like the match defining game here yeah, it could very well be. I feel like that last game very well might have been as well, actually. Um, Gene Wong can still manage to blow this game, says Isaiah. Gene says, I know. Okay, plus one from Raducanu to the backhand of Wong. Forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, and that's long. Four or five feet, and it's now 30-15. The good thing about this whole thing with Radu Kanu is it's not a cramp. Because if you're cramping at this time, at uh, this stage in a match, then you're in pretty bad trouble in the sense where it's just hard to move. She can still move. She's just nauseous, which is also a different type of hindrance and annoyance. But it's not as bad as not being able to like unlock your leg, for example. So 
Uh, here we go. Another rally has begun. Forehand, great angle from Radu Kanu, who tries to go up the line, does Wong, but misses. And it's now double game point. Radu Kanu looking to stay within touching distance, down 1-3. So as long as she can stay within one break, you know, she can have the confidence and energy to just keep going, I think. First serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Now forehand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Forehand Raducanu. Off that shot off of the baseline. Moonball from Wong. Forehand Raducanu. Forehand winner. Cross court with smacker from Wong. And uh, not over just yet, says Yafan Wong. Good variety, throwing in the moon ball there. And then following it up, next shot with an absolute howitzer from the right-hand wing, forehand wing there. Um, all right. Folks, we got 75 people watching. What are we at? 45 likes, but let me hit refresh because sometimes that helps it. 45. Uh, we went down to 44. Man, hilarious. Anyways, thank you guys for your support. And hey, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We really, really appreciate all your support. Thank you for joining me, watching along. Uh, it is very late where I am. 2.30 a.m. on the Pacific coast of North America. I'm in Vancouver, Canada. Thank you all for joining me. Um. Here we go. Good serve. Nice return into another rally. Backhand to backhand. Backhand from Wong. Ooh, great angle. Chop back from Radu Kanu. And then a little redrop from Wong. And then redrop the redrop. Well, it wasn't really a redrop. It was a re-slice the re-slice. And Radu Kanu holds for 2-3. And then just slowly walks over to her bench. I think she's going to probably put the towel on her head again. Okay, so she didn't throw up in her towel because she grabbed the same towel that I thought she may have um, unless someone from like the side take took it. But I don't know if someone would do that. Uh, and we didn't see anyone moving in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and say she did not throw up, but it looked like she was about to. And maybe she thought she was. So she just kind of had that as a backup. Nice backhand slice, though. There's three slices in a row, two of them from Raducanu. And the third one was a nice winner. All right. Radu Kanu. Mm. <sighs> All right. So, folks, little uh, update. Uh, Kokonakis took the third set from Dimitrov. So now it's two to one. They're just starting set number four. We have a tie break in the fourth set between Umber and Zhang. Um, tied at one apiece. Umber is up two sets to one, so has a chance to end it in this with this tiebreak. Runa is now serving at 3 3 30 love, but he is, and that's in the third set. He's down two sets to love. Felix Oje Aliasim is up a set, but right now his opponent uh, is serving for the second set at 5 3. However, it is break point in the favor of. Felix Oje Aliasim. So if he can win this next point right now, he will take the second set. Uh, we also have Mensik up two games to one against Hercatch. They're just getting underway. Sinyakova and Golubic are playing in the third set, and Sinyakova is down 2 4, serving right now. So she's down a break. And then we also have Rabakina and uh, Blinkova 1 1 in the third set. Rebecca serving on serve there. And Yastremska Ska is up 5-2 in the first set against Gracheva. All right, 30 Love Wong here. She's up 3-2. Again, looking to stay a nose ahead. Keep that break advantage for as long as she can. And if she, you know, I'm sure she wants to ride it all the way to the third round of this tournament. First serve goes wide. Raducanu slowly getting back. Second serve is good. Nice uh, forehand up the line on the plus one. Chop back from Radu Kanu. Nice and deep. Forehand inside out. Radu uh, Wong. And then Radu Kanu responds cross court. And then up the line. Backhand winner from Wong. And she's up 40 love. Now, a lot of times in this match, uh, 40 love has turned into something a little more difficult. 
not to, not that a lot of 40 loves have been blown, but they've turned into deuces. So she's got to be careful. Well, she doesn't have to anymore because ace up the tee. And now it's a four to two lead for Yafan, Yafan Wong. So the last game was 10 minutes and 45 sec 44 seconds. This last one was one minute and 36 seconds. So there you go. Ace number six, six or five. Let's see. I'm just going to increase this so I can double check. I think it's six. Yeah, it is six. All right, here we go. Radu Kanu serving. And we're getting close to the business end here. And Radu Kanu. Oh, I guess her shot went long. Um, her second shot went long, I guess. And it is now love 15. I thought that she won that point. Okay, there you go. Okay. Kazo just kicking his games. 54 second service game. Wow. I was just talking about 136 being a pretty good one. And it was compared to her 10 minute 44 second service game. But that is crazy. Hubie is down. No, 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 no. Hubie hung on. Uh, he, oh, I think he'll. Yeah, I, I got Hubie winning that one. I, ho I hope he wins that one. Here we go. Ooh, almost an ace out wide from Radu, Radu Kanu. But alas, it misses the line. All right. Was that a second serve ace in the exact same, in virtually the same play? Obviously not the exact same because the first serve was called out. But the second serve looked basically in the same exact spot. And it's a second serve ace. Nicely done. Um, Radu Kanu. I'm actually surprised that Radu Kanu has a lower fastest serve than Wong, just because Wong is looks to be a few inches shorter. And Radu Kanu is not tall either. Like Sabalenka is, is a six footer. Um, Radu Kanu is my height. She's like 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, five I'm like in the middle. Okay, Radu Kanu keeling over again after missing a backhand. It's 30 all now. Blinkova breaks, says Menor. Ooh, so we're back in a, under some real pressure here, it looks like. Yeah, Blinkova is up 2 to 1. She's serving right now, 15 all. All right, Radu Kanu, 30 all. Another pressure point. Good serve. Nice return. Backhand plus one is a good one. Great defense, making Radu Kanu hit another one. It's a volley out of the air. Uh, sorry, a uh, swinging volley, and the next shot from from Wong goes uh, about four, three, four inches long. So Radu Kanu with the game point, still staying, remaining within touching distance. Really difficult from here for Emma. Rabakina is also struggling. I agree with you about Emma. I still think she has a shot, but I don't think it's the majority of the chance. I would give it a. She has a 25 to 30 percent chance, and I think Richeva has a 70 to 75 percent chance. It looks like Blinkova is going to grab it, says Tan Tan. Oh, we'll see. You never know. Like I always say, if it's a really good player, one of the top end players, if they're within one break, it's never over. That doesn't mean it's always going to come back. It just means that they have the capability to intimidate their opponents um they might have more experience than their opponents in putting games away so there's a lot of different things almost to our halfway goal we're at 49 likes if you haven't done so consider hitting that like button uh we'll get to the goal is 100 and maybe it's still possible but even if not 50 is good for me uh we've got uh we're two hours and 56 minutes into this live stream folks and it's 2.36 a.m. in uh, the time zone that I am in. So I cannot wait for a little shut-eye after this one. Um, gosh. I should have called Ben and JG and got them to cover the end of this bad boy. But it's been such a nice... I mean, it hasn't been, like, definitely not a bad match whatsoever. It hasn't been, like unbelievable but it's been like 
above average the whole way through, right? So it's not like it's not hitting. There's been a few really good points, but the overall quality of play has been above average for sure for most of the match, which is definitely good. So both matches uh, called today have been doozies. Uh, three set thrillers. Iga Sviantek versus Danielle Collins was absolutely awesome. All right, we're into a nice one. Radu Kanu on the run with a backhand tries to do a little slice on the run, but goes into the net. So Wong now, dare I say, seven points away from a date with Zhang Xin Wen making it an all Chinese matchup potentially. Like I said, this matchup is Chinese versus uh, a British player and. Uh, um, Zhang Xin, Xin Wen also played a British, so Chinese versus British, and uh, they play the winners of each other. So Sh Zhang Xin Wen will play the winner of this. Um, here we go. Second serve coming up at 15 love. It's a good one. Backhand return up the middle. Now forehand Raducanu, forehand Wang, long, uncharacteristically long. Forehand on a relatively easy rally ball, and it's 15 all. The total distance run, 2882 meters. Uh, so that's 2.8 2 km, kilometers and uh, for Radu Kanu, 2.9 for Wong. There you go. Uh, another rally just getting into play. Middle of the court, forehand Radu Kanu, forehand Wong. Now backhand Radu Kanu. Backhand Wong up the line, off the top of the net, and still lands in. She would have had a winner if she didn't hit it off the net, of course. Uh, but she hit it off the net and still hit the winner. So she did apologize. But in that situation, I don't think you actually need to. Um, but it's nice that she did. All right. Now the total distance. They've, no, it's gotten closer. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know why they keep showing that stat. Here we go. Raducanu, nice return. Forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu, forehand Wong, forehand Raducanu. Nice and loopy. Forehand Wong, Raducanu, Wong now backhand. Drop shot from Raducanu. And oh, I thought it was going to hit the net. It didn't have much height on it, but it did make it over the net. And it's a winner. So 30 all. Just when you think this game, this match is going to get, someone's going to pull away. Close. Uh, Manor, do you watch Runa? And hello, Yugoslav. Good to have you, brother. Nice to see your name in here. We got Duzan Kondic saying uh, Novak Djokovic. Uh, I didn't get yeah, luck. The first luck 50. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, but nice to have you, Duzan. Really appreciate you joining the stream. Who the hell is Kazo? Uh, it's, it's a guy, man. He's a guy. Uh, he plays tennis. Uh, Grenier takes uh, second set against Felix. There was a 36-shot rally in that last game. Wow. Uh, thank you, Dave. Sorry, he said 36-shot point. I said rally. Um, I need to represent the accuracy of our comment uh, comment commenters. I almost said commentators. Uh, Yugoslav, no idea, but he's good. Umber won good game. Come on, Wong. Hold on. And she did hold on. She just had game point 40-30. And she turned it into a 5-3 lead. So Radu Kanu now will serve to stay in the match. But I think we need to give a little love for Wong. All right, we're into a rally. Short ball for Wang. Inside in, but she goes long. So 15 love on the Radu Kanu serve. Uh, also, hello to Eric uh, Luzuriaga. Thank you for joining us. I believe that I haven't seen your name in the comments before. So welcome and apologies if you have been here before. Hey, buddy. Uh, hope you're well, Yugoslav. Nice to see you as always. Um, here we go. Forehand uh, from Raducanu. Wong now ripping, not really ripping, just a little 
easy rally ball. Now forehand Raducanu up the middle, forehand Wong, but that one goes long, and it is now 30 love. So um, Wong does not look urgent to try and end it in this game, uh, but she's also not trying to just uh, give it up to serve it out. She's she's still playing, but um, yeah, not uh, not going her way just yet. Great serve out wide, a beautiful one-two combination. Serve out wide uh, from the right-hand side, from the deuce court, and then uh, the return up the middle. She turned that into a backhand cross court towards the other side. 40 love. Going to try and put the pressure on Wong to serve it out. Forehand cross court from Wong into the net. Radu Kanu will gingerly walking back to her bench. And it is now 5-4 for Yafan Wong. After this changeover, she will serve for a spot in the third round against fellow countrywoman Zheng Xin Wen. Covey, you are great. I listen, but not commenting. Oh, uh, nice. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate that, brother. Yugoslav, hi, man, says Alex. Tan Tan, Blinkova up 3-1. High hopes in the third set here. Um, I still think Rebecca's going to win it. I don't know why. I'm not even watching the game. I just have a feeling. Um, and I could totally be wrong. I'm, I'm completely aware of that. By the way, Golubic is now two points away from the match. She's serving at 5-4 in the third set. She's up 30-15. Ooh, 30 all now. So maybe the temperature is rising. The stadium's turning into a pressure cooker, perhaps. Gracheva is uh, officially down one set to love, but serving in the second set in the very first game, she's up 40 to love. So on serve in the second set. Mensik, her catch, four all, first set. Felix Oje Aliasim Grenier, one set apiece on serve in the set in the third set. Kazo um looking to stay right now. It is set point against him. He's serving at 4-5 and he's down 30-40. So Runa, if he can win the next point, will get one set on the board here. And if he does get a set on the board, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins that one. Also, Grigor is up two sets to one, and they're on serve in the fourth set against the Nasi Kokonakis. Wong chases down a drop shot. Radu Kanu then tries to, no, not tries, does lob her. And Wong, not the tallest, does jump up and try and get it out of the air. But the lob was too good, just over the height of her fully outstretched arm, racket-filled arm. Nice little uh, bit of variety. Remind me a little bit of Alcaraz, where you get the drop shot going, bring them in, and then lob it over their head. Or you could say Andy Murray, although... I'd say Alcaraz does the, the drop lob more. I think Andy Murray just was generally good at lob lobs. Um, people, like, share, subscribe. Only 50 likes. Come on. Got about, oh, we got 80 people. So, yeah, it usually happens when it's a close one near the end. But, yeah, thank you guys all for your support. If we can get to 100, that would be amazing. And then I hit the 100 like button, uh, which is a really nice, chill song. Still can't believe Iga Spiontek pulled that comeback after being down one four it was unbelievable so locked in very yeah yeah it's a very very good term locked in is a good one Wong with the first serve uh nope it is uh doesn't count it was a let cord she'll have another first serve in Ser uh Yugoslav no I'm in Serbia but I have Eurosport player on England VPN <laughs> All right, all right. All right, here we go. Serve is good. Return up the middle. Now forehand Wong, nice and deep. Radu Kanu with a, just a defensive block. Short ball that Wang gets up and puts a forehand. A winner up the line, 30-15. Now she's just two points away from a date with Zhang Xinwen. Let's see, let's see. Can she do it? This has been a hard-fought match coming up on three hours, two hours and 54 minutes to be precise. These women have been giving it their all. Nice forehand from Wong on the run. Forehand Radu Kanu, nice and deep. Moon ball from Wong. Swinging volley from Radu Kanu. And oh, it's the third one she's missed. And this one sets up a double match point. Yes, double match point now for... 
Yafan Wan. Match point. Here we go. 40 15. Didn't like the toss. Still pretty windy, so understandable. Wong with the first serve. It's good. Block back return. Nice and deep. Forehand Wong. Also deep. Backhand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand Raducanu. Backhand Wong. Backhand drop shot Raducanu. It's a good one. And she gets to it. Oh, and she was right at the net. Raducanu tried to whip it right at her, but it went into the net. And there it is. It looked like Raducanu literally was just trying to whip it right at her. And Yan, uh, Yafan Wong actually ducked and it went into the net. And there you go. 6 4, 4 6, 6 4. She is definitely going to need an ice bath after that one for the inflammation. Great effort from Yafan Wong the whole match through. Like I said a little bit earlier, it felt like she was never uh, having a lull that was longer than three or four points in a row. She was just constantly going. Uh, Emma Raducanu, a little bit. Um, I feel like for how much of a battle that was, I, I feel like uh, she was a little cold in the handshake, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, obviously, she's not happy that she's out of the Australian Open, but I felt like uh, uh, maybe the two of them deserved a little bit more of a like a handshake or something or whatever. Uh, maybe because she tried to whip it at her at the very end as well. Maybe she didn't want to do that who knows but in the end very very good match two good matches i got the call today lucky me um and this one was also a doozy great level of tennis some real real fighting spirit uh wong is an extremely um i mean just reading about her to set up this match uh, as i mentioned if you missed it earlier she was outside the top 500 10 months ago and then last year on the itf tour the lower level tour she went on a tear and went to eight finals. Well, she she made it to the final match of eight tournaments. She won several and she lost a few, but basically worked her way back. She's now 94 in the world. That's going to go up even further now, making it to the third round here. So congratulations to Yafan Wong again. We're going to play the button once. We'll come back, say goodnight, and then we'll wrap up the stream. Congrats to our victor. Have you met a girl called man? Go All right, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, that's going to be it for me. I'll, uh, we got Andy Moore saying, well played, Emma. Fitness is key now. Onwards. Yeah, there you go. Um, you know, it is going to be a factor for sure until she gets some uh, tournaments under her belt. But she'll get there. Um, I think it was an encouraging start comeback, I would say. Oh. Overall, I really liked how she played last game, and she put up a really good fight, even though she looked like she was about to throw up um, all of a sudden there near the end of the second set. Um, okay, Gene saying congrats to Yafan Wong. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me. It is time for me to go to sleep. It's almost 3 a.m. I am beat. I am exhausted. I had a really, really fun day of calling matches. Enjoy the rest of the day's action um, not sure exactly when I'll be on next, but definitely uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. You won't have to worry. Okay, here we are. They're showing a replay. I just want to say it one time. So R Emma Raducanu, yeah, she just tried to whip it right at Wong and Wong actually put her racket and ducked and the ball went into the net. So she was definitely no doubt. And then there was like a, fist pump right away so maybe that's why there wasn't much of an exchange because she tried to hit her she didn't and the uh the almost victim with the fist pump um but i think it was still yeah they um they, they played a good match nicely done really appreciate that we got to watch such good tennis all right folks once again my name is covey for the game to love tennis podcast thank you for watching and we'll see you all real soon peace